Oh, come on in, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm hoping Bane will join us. He was, like, right behind me, coming upstairs, and then, I don't know. He disappeared. Uh, looks like we do have our trans coating, so that's very nice. Very nice. Send out a quick Discord as well as a quick tweet <clears throat> and of course if you are in the future watching on YouTube please feel free to subscribe and if you'd like to join me live you can come follow at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLB <clears throat> excuse me I did not realize quite how hoarse I was um so I have the general idea what's going to be going on today once we take off the rest of this this grew on me a little bit both of them for that matter hey son hey Gidge um still like not my favorite like the uh where is my dashboard there we go um favorite is still definitely the northern lights hey Zuli But, yeah, you know, I got, I got, I got used to this. Hey, Mrs. Shredo. Um, we, I do need to do a little bit of testing for this one. I should have considered that a little bit earlier so I could have like maybe done some polish in the notebook to swatch on. That would have made things easier. I think I might have to do a dry because otherwise I don't think I really want to sit around and wait for the the notebook swatches to dry hey flamingo um so if you weren't here for the overall brainstorming and everything days nine and ten are uh, pigment stamped snowflakes designs and i have i think three i'll check my i'll check i need to pull the notebook out Sorry for the jiggles. I should have mounted the other camera before I started, but I didn't. Um, <clears throat> we have a, a, a very shiny image plate. I'm sorry, I'm just like easily distracted. Um, of snowflakes for us to choose from. Um... And oh no, where are my notes? No oh, wait, they're they must be before this. Okay, they're back here. I was gonna say I like all that's there is this, and it's like okay, okay. So the pigment, <sighs> the pigment. I, my mistake, my mistake wasn't thinking that it ever made it off the desk. <laughs> oh, I looked through, cause like I clear off the desk periodically, you know, clean it. Like, take everything and put it in a shoebox. And then there's, like, shoeboxes and I can, like, carbon date them based on the polishes that are in them and what manicure that was, that was, like, related to. <laughs> so I'm like, well, obviously. <laughs> obviously the pigments in some box carbon dated to approximately May or June of this year but I went through all my boxes like I did like I <laughs> made me do some cleaning like I went through them all and I like put stuff away I put like you know polish back where it's supposed to go la da da whatever and it didn't fucking find it 
And I'm like, well, what, what else? Where, where possibly else could it be? Now, you have to understand, it's not that I never considered that it was still here on my desk because that shit happens. But like I had looked, I had taken a flashlight and like I thought I did a good job looking like behind my monitor and stuff. But it turns out these jars are small and it's easy for them to be camouflaged and overwhelmed by polish bottles. (laughs) Like, you know, in front of and on top of them, you know, because like when I'm done with a manicure... Queen Skylar, thank you for the follow. When I'm done with a manicure, right? We're, you know, we're doing nails, whatever. And and the stream is over. And I want to roll up my mat. And the polish just gets pushed back on the desk so that I can roll up the mat. So I can have, you know, desktop in front of me. And they had been pushed and pushed by polish. And like, fucking man, dude. The rage that I felt literally and what did i say find the blue pigment and i'll find the hollow pigment (laughs) and i was angry at myself fucking for being unorganized dude so (laughs) welcome queen skylar so i yeah yeah all along as if I needed another reminder <laughs> that I really should organize my shit like thing is I should have known better they should never have been subjected to nudging away just like the stamper never just gets nudged somewhere random on my desk cause that's like you know I <sighs> Mm. oh no son well at least you have a a backup option but yeah so after after much trial and tribulation I found the pigments so I want to use okay the the ideas these are not this is not the only ideas we originally brainstormed these couple things so hmm. (laughs) okay I just saw this note (laughs) oh god no it's more than my tired brain can take Oh, that always sucks, son. Amethyst, hello. Oh, yeah. Find the blue pigment. Anyway, we've got like this design, which is like kind of graduated in size snowflakes and kind of a classy little something. I mean, these will probably just both be like snowflake. I'm not going to. I don't know. Maybe I'll come up with a name. I, I was. If I haven't made it clear, I'm still a little bit tired. Amethyst, I just, I just admitted my folly. It was on my desk. (laughs) No, I'm, I'm horrible. Anyway, okay. So, like, this would be, like, a large snowflake at the cuticle and then, like, probably, like, a medium and a small snowflake. We're going to be stamping with this pigment. We're going to be... Like, now... Well, the, ignore that one. That's why, that's why I should have earlier today laid down some polish to actually practice stamping on, but we'll, we'll work around it. The other thought was a French tip, which either could go similarly, like, with, you know, like... A, a, a spaced out each snowflake having their own little space type of a design or just like really overlap them and get like a denser French tip I feel like that m- might be harder to successfully pull off 
like at the length my nails are right now even though like there's a like a goodly amount of relatively ugh, small snowflakes like the you know to get it to actually look like dense I'd have to overlap a lot of them and I'd have to I mean they'd have to be go all going off the tip of the nail to some extent if I wanted to keep it at a realistic French tip length mm. I didn't I didn't you know when was that you know they have a twitch they have a twitch channel stream it's a stream just a bit ago I didn't see it in my follow I followed them when they did that other one launch so and then of course in addition to these is one like design that's just kind of scattered over the nail maybe a little bit of overlapping maybe a little bit of not overlapping like an actual snowfall situation I'm overusing that word ignore me now as to like choosing which actual snowflakes I want to use I mean I'm I might have trouble with that there's a lot of really cute snowflakes on here I think I'm mostly going to want to stay on the smaller side though for most of these designs if I did the one that's like graduated from the cuticle I'd need like a larger one but even the smallest small ones are not that small so yeah I was kind of thinking that they were small medium and large but there's really just like small and large there's not really very many that I would say are medium size on the plate sorry cameras not hello there's there's a ring light there's a ceiling you want to like not focus on the reflection camera why <laughs> <laughs> okay because snowflakes so we have a couple things we need to test we've got um, let's go here where's my pencil what is today the ninth today is the ninth I'm going to do the cheater thing because we don't have time to wait for black polish to dry so we're just gonna be like yeah man this this marker is not the juiciest can I maybe like They're not too hard to freehand as long as you don't uh get overly ambitious. My very first twelve days of Christmas had a snowflake that I'm I'm still quite proud of to this day because it turned out looking really good. Alright, this is good this is good enough, it's fine. So for the colors I, do I have some oh do I want to have a thing for each thing a eye, eyeshadow thing for each thing well no is there another one in here yeah okay so we've got the blue we've got the hollow we've got unicorn Oh, you guys can't see. Hmm. Blue, hollow, unicorn. Um, I've got a couple different duo combs in there. Where is the... Mm 
the green. the other hollow. I wonder if there's much difference to them when used stamping. Put that there for right now. Um, gold. Why don't you have any sponges in here with you? Why is your bag so dirty? You leaking? Meh. Um, rose gold? Do we want rose gold? That's what the initial test was of, but I don't really feel like that's. Maybe if we did gold, gold and rose gold, that could be cute. Hey, Bane. Um. The gun metal. I don't know. I wonder how that would look when layered over some of the other ones. Actually. Oh man. I'm I'm getting caught up in more testing than I anticipated, I think. Um, and I need a sponge for a gold. And all these other pigments are coming from the same place that this pigment should have been, which is a box full of pigments. Every now and then I'm actually organized. Hey, Shu. Mm. I'm going more probably cool tones. I mean, if we're, we're using the blue. <laughs> We're using the blue. Okay. So I've I've done this exactly twice, which was during that previous very brief testing. Mm. Let's go move some of this out of the way here. Up here. Okay. Oops, please don't. Please don't knock over. Um Now, do I want to try different things for this or do I want to just pick one for testing purposes and be done with it? I'm black for stamping. Um, I probably should just pick one for stamping and just like call it a day with that, right? And not experiment with all these different ones. There's so many different cute ones though. But what if some of them don't stamp nicely? Maybe I should just test a bunch of them. Beanie's he's <laughs> Beanie are you judging judging everyone very sternly no he says yes but no no gidge <laughs> Beanie also has a little Christmas tree I wasn't going to do anything because I was like, where the fuck am I going to put anything? And then I realized I could fit a little small bean-sized tree right there. Alright, hold on. I, I'm, I'm getting to the treats. I am. I am, I am. Luke. Hello.
Okay, let's move my peelies. Because we're going to need some acetone in a minute. And then I will do baby treats. Oh, this acetone is almost empty. I guess I'm going to need to fill it. Hello, Mr. Bane. Would you like a treat? Hey, Spacey. <laughs> Did you just swallow that hole? Sir, can you please chew? Crunch, crunch. Okay, that was like one crunch. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Bane. So, the one thing that I learned from our previous testing was that I would want to stamp with white for the white nails and black for the black nails because um... In some spots, it's it's kind of hard to see here. It's a little easier to see in person. But in some spots, like there were spots where you could just see the black and not see the pigment. You actually can't very, barely notice it now. But that was my thought. Maybe I should, re I should reconsider this. Let's do the black ones first. Because... They're going to stand out more against the black course. Maybe if I want an actual bright day. But Bane, eh? No, get out of there. That's not for Beans. Hey, Angel. Hey, Nerve. Bane, I promise you that's not for you. Can you please come over here? Can you please come over here and stop messing around with that just because I didn't put it away? Hi. Can you settle down? <laughs> Hi, buddy. Can, can you just settle down in Benny's chair? Maybe? Um, he is a good boy, mostly, except he's over there trying to get into things. Yeah, settle down. Good boy. Show everybody what a good boy you are. Okay, I need to stick with the idea because I know that that happened and I need to not, not, uh, write that off. Line of the noob. Thank you for the follow. <clears throat> Whoa, son, that's like a uh, tradition. Do they have something else or just no special at all? I mean, I'm not surprised that you don't know about candy cane pie, Luke. Because you're not a, you're not a sweets lover like that. <laughs> but I know about candy cane pie. I, f I feel your pain, son. Because they used to do an eggnog pie that was my jam. <sighs> Fucking Baker Square. Um, we'll need some acetone for cleaning the plate. I've also got the uh, lint roller for cleaning off the uh, stamper. Which has, I can, I can tell there's like a little bit of residue left on here. So the idea behind pigment stamping is you buff some pigment onto the stamper head. You do a, a stamp design as usual. And the part where the polish is, is the part where the pigment transfers. <clears throat> did you re did you redeem them or do you mean just in general? Did I miss some? We could, we could pet wool. I, I don't know if I will. He's he's having a moment, a personal personal moment right now. Mm. Yeah, well, too bad you can't, Angel, because Baker Square is rude. 
wow i i mean <laughs> not like i've been out buying any pies lately because i mean I, you know i suppose i could door dash me some damn baker square pie but now i have no reason to <laughs> benny are you done in your private area can i give you a pet <laughs> Oh, I completely missed it, Spacey. I'm sorry. I will do extra pets now. Even though he looks kind of like, Mom, why are you messing with me? He was like, I will I'll just accommodate myself so I can wash myself and you can pet me. <laughs> Wait, y'all don't have Baker Square! <sighs> I mean, they're not really that good or anything, but their pies are kind of bomb. <laughs> A giant York peppermint. I mean, that wouldn't be bad either. I I thought Baker Square were everywhere. Yeah, they did use. Or you want to get old school? As my mom will continue to refer to them as fucking poppin' fresh. Anyway, for the stamping, I'm gonna be using uh, one coat black and not milky white. Um, let's get a little bit closer. Like I, I want you guys still to be able to see what's going on over here too. Maybe I can just like scooch everything a little bit like that. <clears throat> I mean, you guys can Google it, but yeah, it's it's just, it's like a restaurant. It's got pie. <laughs> I mean, is anybody else that knows about it have anything else to add? It's not like it's, it's, it's kind of old fashioned. -y. It's not got like a gimmick or anything. Doing food like I do my nails. What does that even mean? Angel. I haven't seen any cooking streams, so you don't mean live in front of an audience. <laughs> ah, that wasn't very funny. Okay, tests. <clears throat> Do I want to test every color? We got to be careful here. This is Sally Hansen Hollow. Mm. Oh, I like it. Oh, come on, camera. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> you make them fancy. Oh, okay, okay. This, this, I'm sorry, this is good enough. We have to have actual flashlight time here. Good flashlight time. Ring light. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm so easily amused. Stream my editing? I don't think so. No. I mean, number one, it's not interesting. Number two, like, I hate it. Like, I like streaming is supposed to be fun times. It's stupid and boring, and when it's not stupid and boring, you're like waiting around fucking for something to happen. Gotta wait around for shit to render. Gotta wait around for shit to export. Gotta wait around for shit to upload. It's like a whole bunch of dumb shit and then a whole bunch of waiting. Oh, I hate it. 
Anyway. Clean this off. Looks like I scraped black with it last. Don't want to be don't want to scrape white with like a dirty scraper, so I just like dip it in the acetone. Dude, grown up grilled cheese sounds delicious. <gasps> they got rid of Oreo. Oh. oh. <sighs> I mean, I haven't had. This is one of those situations where you haven't had something in a long time. But as soon as you like realize that you want it, you also come with the knowledge that it's not a thing you can ever have again. Eat on mess. Hello. Welcome. Oh my god. Oh, the Oreo was so good. But you know what? You know what? With like a slight, very slight amount of effort, there's fucking Jello Oreo pies. The white really doesn't like to stamp. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna probably not continue to show you guys because it's giving it just that more second to dry. It can be a little bit difficult to get it off you got to keep moving over um i really need to get it on the paper while it's wet we can't use anything sticky like we normally do because that will defeat the purpose and it will pull off more of the pigment than we want to pull off <sighs> i don't know i mean maybe they'll bring it back i mean i'm sure too like it's i'm sure it's not like as popular as like boring shit like whatever's left apple <laughs> but uh okay my my acetone is so empty that it's so light that it keeps tipping over so i'm gonna fill it up right now also i just am notoriously i feel like companies always get rid of my favorite shit you should try the jello mix if you haven't though son it's easy. You can do it frozen. I like to do it in little cupcakes. Because then it's an automatic serving size. We're just, we're just slowly pouring. Okay. That's enough. Do they still have the uh, the Reese PC? The Reese PC one? Dude, Angel. My Discord loves food pictures. So these look pretty simple. Well, yeah maybe like slight slight differences but they look pretty similar so we'll see if they stamp similarly like I said I probably oh do we have to I mean it's just as good okay but you guys got to see the other one in flashlight time so that you could see how good it was so it would only be fair to show you guys this one in flashlight time also. Flashlight time, like it's like bullet time or something. Yeah. Oh god, I love Paula. Was the other one slightly smoother? I don't know. Maybe it's my imagination. Um, I'm gonna try the same one 
I think, or maybe the one next to it. See if I can get a good transfer. That was much better. I just need to go fast. That was so much better. This one is from uh, Elite 99. And I don't know that I've actually ever used the Sally Hansen one in a manicure. Like I bought it because of course I did. But I don't know that I ever used it. Apparently the Sally Hansen chrome kits uh, are in some cases going for like expensive on eBay, which I think is just dumb. The kit isn't all that. The pigments are nice, but they're not anything like overly special. I feel I feel bad for anybody that falls for that. Okay. Oh, this is gunmetal. I don't know what color I thought it was, but I just realized it's gunmetal. This, I mean, this will show up over white. But it just makes it kind of glossy. Like extra glossy. It's almost invisible on camera. You guys get like a little tiny bit of sheen. I mean, it's fine to share food porn after the fact. I hope these pigments aren't like bad for my stamper head or anything. I don't think so. It is getting like slightly cloudy in the middle, but I mean, I use this for almost everything. I suppose I could buy myself a replacement head or a whole replacement stamper. They're not that expensive. Mm. It would be interesting to try a, uh, like a full manicure with the stamped pigment type of thing like not with a stamped image like just stamping it directly to your nail this is the blue kind of hard to see from certain angles there's a little bit of residue behind on the plate too you guys, let me scoot over just a little bit so you guys can see. Like when I stamp down. That's very, very sparkly sheer over white. You don't get hardly any of the blue. So ragdoll. It was on my desk. <clears throat> Should use an old stamper. Hmm. Should I say already too late or should I switch? I think it's hurting it. I mean, I don't really have an old. I mean, I guess this one is kind of old. Gosh. Look at its poor little chunky edges. I mean, I like maybe I'm just like more aware of it, but there is definitely a space in the middle that's a little bit not fully clear. I don't like I, the only other options that I would have, like my Bliss Kiss stamper is so freaking large, plus for being on camera. Like, because the barrel is uh, opaque red metal, it doesn't let in as much light. May maybe the answer is I just need to buy myself a new Moyu stamper and maybe a spare head. 
Yeah. Well, because, I mean, if you think about it, like, pigments seem smooth, right? But they're not smooth. They're little tiny, microscopic little... Meh. So, like, rubbing that on here... Like, yeah, I'm not surprised that it's... That it be like that. Um... Okay, this is... I don't know if Madame Glam sells this anymore. Somebody told me they don't sell the glitters anymore. I don't know if they still sell pigments or not. Unicorn powder. Wow. Also, I mean, even a cloudy clear stamper is superior to an opaque stamper back in my day <laughs> but I mean I can still make that work also opalescent -y and light but in a different I guess you can kind of see some of the blue, but then it kind of goes like to a green and then here you see kind of almost like a yellow and then it flashes to the pink. Like I, I don't dislike either of those and they might have a place in the manicure, but I need something that stands out more over the light background. So I'm hoping, oh wait, did I not get out a silver chrome? This ugly little makeup sponge. I don't like it. But it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm not necessarily going to use the same colors for the day and the night, or the white and the black, or the white and the very, very dark blue? Question mark? Um, white balance got a little bit weird there for a second. But we'll see. Um, okay. Green next, though, I think. Keep these kind of opalescent -y looking ones together. I forget, I think, is this one mermaid and the other one is peacock? Or this is peacock and the other one is mermaid? Uh, this is another Sally Hansen one. I got all four of the Sally Hansen ones when they were uh, out and about. Ah, the days of driving from Ulta to Ulta. <laughs> Looking for limited edition shit. I, I love all those in the way that they're so light and I mean I feel like you could do like butterfly wings or dragonfly wings or some sort of iridescent wings with these colors I'm, I'm kind of ignoring chat too I think I'm, I'm very sorry you guys I'm just slightly slightly out of it I'm, I'm not as out of it as I was like you guys, like for a while there, I was really having trouble. It doesn't help that just when I was kind of getting on top of it, now I'm like pressuring myself with these videos. But I'm slightly more on top of it than I was. Not quite actually on top of it, but closer to being on top of it. Did I say hello? Dangerous. <clears throat> okay, we just did the green. Now we'll do... 
the rose gold. I'm not sure how this will look over white. It's a surprisingly pigmented huh, pigment. <laughs> um, um. <laughs> but like, I don't know. Yeah, see, when you get it on here, it's not quite as much. And from my angle, it's gold. Like, fully gold. Like, like that. <clears throat> oh, I need a little bit more acetone. Okay, I always, like, I don't know. I know that everyone is understanding. I just... I really like trying to say hi to everybody. I mean, it's just a small thing, but like, I don't know. It's the least I could do for you guys hanging out with me while I go through this absurd... Okay, speaking of absurd series, you guys, you guys... <sighs> <laughs> Angel. March is going to be the 10th Water Marble March. I don't know how I feel about that. It's fucking a lot of Water Marble Marches. Some of them have been like better than others. It's been a, been a couple tough marches in there. Um... But fuck. But then I'm like, man, <laughs> do, what, what, how, do, you know, how do I fucking make that special? Like, it's already special. How do I make it even more special? But like, holy crap. I've been doing it for such a long time. This is, oh, it's already going everywhere. Oh, the lid's on crooked. <laughs> And it's so full. I always forget how full this fucker is. This makes me not even want to use it. It's such a hassle. It's so messy. It's so messy. <laughs> no mad scientist emoji. Somewhere somebody probably has a a Rick a Rick emote. This is really nice. Uh, I wonder if I should try my other gold also. We'll see how this one looks. If I don't like it, we'll try the other gold. Oh, I wasn't quick enough on that one. I'm I'm never going to be able to not be curious if I don't check what the other gold also looks like. <sighs> Damn you curiosity. You know what? Let's uh There. Haha. <laughs> Smart Get in there. <clears throat> Where's the other gold? Yeah. So yeah, after so the plan. Now that I know there needs to be a plan, <laughs> is like so after let last year. And I guess the year before, too. Is this the third 12 Days of Christmas I've done on stream? Um, last year, I would upload the edited tutorial. And then, like, later that night, I would upload the, the live archive, the extended tutorial. 
It's like I was uploading twice every day. But this year, I decided not to do that. Like, for a couple reasons. Oh, that's leaking everywhere, too. Shit. Um. Like, for one, kind of, like, not flood people's feeds for the people that do use feeds, even though most people, like, don't. For another, because, like, there's not just one extended tutorial to go with one edited tutorial because of the way that we did the recording. And number two, so that I can... Well, no, wait, that's, like, number three or four. I don't know. Also, <clears throat> let's just stick with stick with also. Also, so that in the inevitable post-12 days... Oh, that's quite a darker gold. They both stamped like shit, though. Um, In the inevitable post-12 days of Christmas, I don't really feel like doing my nails that much and certainly don't feel like editing so that I'll have some stuff to upload. But then, the plan is to not actually stop uploading... Or not to stop editing. The plan is... What, what side even is up on this? The plan is to... Uh, edit my backlog. Like to start the new year. Getting caught up on all the shit that I've done that never made it to YouTube. That might be cool, Dangerous. That's a lot. Nine in a month? That's almost as aggressive as 12 days of Christmas. I mean, not exactly, but I mean, like, if you like the actual recording schedule of it. Would be like a water marble every three days. I think the most I've done in a year was 12. And I don't know how the fuck I did that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, to like revisiting things I've done in the past. I don't know that I've ever done that and felt successful. <laughs> it's like, shit, that original was better. <laughs> Why'd I fuck around with that? Also, like, I don't know. Is that interesting? Do people want to see that? It's nice and smooth. Because, like, I've already done that. So in my head, it's like, well, who wants to look at that again? You want to see that? Just go look at the other one. <laughs> I don't know. But I, I need to, like, come up with some sort of plan. Even if it's just do a lot of water marbles and make it the best water marble march ever. Um. <laughs> but, yeah, like, it dawned on me, like, dude... Oh, I like that. I kind of like the uh, the chrome silver with the hollow silver. But then I don't know what else. Maybe the blue? Would the blue be subtle? Too subtle, I mean to say? <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to go through all of them again. This time with black, over black. That's true, dangerous in a lot of cases. Probably more cases than I realize. Yeah, so this was, I should, I should note these. Okay. <laughs> yeah, red snowflakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I maybe should have redone the first hollow with white, but I think I'll be able to tell from the black. 
if more of that was the hull's fault or if more of that was my fault for waiting with the polish or with the stamp rather <laughs> dangerous thank you I've done that a couple times before where it's like well I don't feel like sitting here waiting for polish to dry <laughs> it's a ghetto solution if ever there was All right, so same thing. I'm not going to be able to really show you guys too much to hopefully get the good transfers. That wasn't too bad. We got like a couple spots. And I'm hoping this will all be better over polish versus paper, right? Because paper's a weird, you know, it's not, it's not the same. So I think just being on polish will help. Okay, hollow two. I don't know if it really makes a difference to the finished look like how much you buff it into the into the stamper I feel like the the second hollow for sure stamps better even all other yeah I'm I'm definitely getting a haze I'm only slightly sad faced though because I went into it with knowledge of what I was doing. It's not like I, I can't really claim it's an accident. <laughs> um, I'm not a fl I'm not a huge fan of chocolate and peppermint together. A lot of the time, I like it just as it is. I I don't. If you I, I don't know. Maybe? It's worth a try. Because <laughs> it's supposed to be a clear stamper gauge. And it's not going to be clear no more. Now the gunmetal obviously will show up a lot differently over the black. I don't know if that would be worth it. Maybe I should try one with the white also of like layering it over something. But layering it over what? Like the hollow? Actually, I might do that though. Because I'm curious and I want to see. Like if it's like I thought actually more noticeable or if it's like not a good idea at all under any circumstances. Yeah, it does show up as an overlap. Is it cute? I don't really think so. I don't I don't think the gunmetal will get any any uh use over the white. I don't like it. I suppose you probably even could. I mean, like the uh, the mix comes with obviously a certain amount of crushed Oreos. Why well, you couldn't replace that whole amount with like a mint Oreo instead? That might work better than like sticking candy canes just up in there. <clears throat> Wait, dang it, I didn't do the gunmetal over black. I went straight to the blue. Brain plus. It's okay. Oh, that's so pretty. 
Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. They don't have peppermint Oreos. I thought that was like a standard. Are you sh That's like a standard flavor. No. I swear I see those things all year round. Okay, gunmetal over black. That was way too much pigment. And I like... Whenever you're working with pigment, you do not need a lot. This is going to leave traces behind, I think. On the plate a lot. Regular mint, but not peppermint. Well, what do they use for the regular mint? Maybe the regular mint is peppermint. And the packaging is just a debate. Okay, that didn't stamp very well. I'm not quite sure why, but I also kind of don't like it. It's just boring. It's just gray. Pre-Oreo flavor times. The dark times. Let me make sure and get this nice and clean. <clears throat> okay. Unicorn. The unicorn, I think, is going to be super pretty over black. The only real question I have right now is which pattern is which which is day and which is night. That wasn't a very good pickup or a very good transfer. Pretty pretty color though. I'm getting a darker like that. You know, and actually, even the, like, PC stamps that aren't transferring very well, like, they have a nice snowflake vibe still. Because snowflakes don't all fall down perfectly. I feel like there's a Bob Ross quote in there somewhere. But... <clears throat> it will also... If you take my advice and do the uh, the cupcakes, you could try a multitude of things. Try 12 different things. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that was the unicorn skin that turned that green. It's crazy. And this will be the Sally Hansen Peacock or Mermaid. Mermaid. Mermaid Green. <clears throat> I keep getting. that left behind camera please Woo! doubtful hello that was loud to me with the 23 months hey like why does it keep doing that <clears throat> oh mini cupcake sized ones i don't know if i could do that because then i would have to have like four and then I would feel bad for having four, even though they were miniature. Hey, Entropy, thank you. <laughs> Doubtful. Yes. The nail stamping implants, you guys. Just happen to look like boob implants. We are, uh, we're doing a pigment thing. 
where we rub this on here we we rub the boob and we make a shiny like no and then we do things with this stamp a rooney thingy why did i just call it a stamp a rooney i don't know and like go like no and we pick it up and we put it down I, I want to figure out why I'm getting that problem. Am I applying my pigment too heavily? Is my stamping stamper boob not clean? Is it because of the fogginess? Is it sticky? Does the roller transfer stickiness? Doesn't really seem to. I just need to make sure that it's clean, clean. <laughs> hey, Dino. Hey, Lorca. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> hey, Bane. Um, we'll, we'll, be thorough we'll do the two golds i'm kind of leaning away from gold right now like i don't feel like that's calling to me but we should still see it for science which side of the stamper or which side of the I should pay attention so it's like the more distant side like like they're getting progressively crappier or the black just doesn't like playing with any of these as well as it likes playing with that original hollow An aesthetic delight. Doubtful. You're gonna make me blush over here. <laughs> mm. Yeah, like, I don't... I actually don't hate it, Dino, but it wasn't the intention. I mean, am I possibly actually going too fast right now? I wonder. Maybe I'll delay just slightly on this one and see if it helps a bit. This is gold number two. The kind of darker gold. Because mm. sometimes, like, if you're doing uh, reverse stamping and you try and apply it to your nail too quick like that's what happens yeah I was going too quick you can't wait you can't hurry you have to go a pace apparently see how much like I how much how much longer did I wait like two seconds fucking ridiculous dude why why like why does it have to be that precise honestly um and we'll do the the silver too why it's not fully clean i still think that's important too There's the silver. Very shiny. 
been nice. Stamp it. Look at it. Stamp it. Before I was stamping it and stamping it. I, I, I need to pause as long as it takes to look at it. And that's it. So, I'm just going to pretend those are good stamps because I can, I think I can pretty much resolve that. Yeah, that's nice. Like, like, I, like, I'm not going to try and get like precise, like one, one thousand, two, one thousand, but no, just stamp, look, stamp instead of stamp, stamp. That's our, that's our timing. <laughs> um... So we're, we're going to try and be organized here and put things away that we're not using. I should have just kept all the bags out of the stuff that I pulled out in the first place. Um, instead of just leaving the bags like in here. Uh, okay. We are not going to be using the gunmetal. A black with the silver sheet. And that's what the gunmetal's like. If it uh, had applied properly. Like it basically turns black to gunmetal. Like that. <clears throat> What's on your switch, doubtful? We are also not gonna use crater. I don't think I like the I like the deeper gold better don't you guys think if I were to use gold I don't think I'm gonna use gold at all honestly this is so oh my god This gold is so messy. Okay. I have, I have mostly got it. There was a, there was like a holiday update, wasn't there? Anything cool going on? Mm. Okay. So we're also not using the Sally Hansen hollow. Because the Elite 99 Hollow is better. I think over white, I want. Silver hollow, silver chrome, and one of the iridescent ones. Talking over white now. Hmm. Well, what, okay, what colors do I want to use over black? Do I want to go like all 
all iridescent. I, I don't think I'm using gold. Let's put this gold away. I mean, I guess gold could I could I could do silver and gold and hollow over white. I don't usually like mixing silver and gold. <laughs> but day is coming. But day comes about once a year, once a year, once a year. Bringing lots of joy and cheer. Do, 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 do. You guys like the blue? We're already using hollow dino. You you can't restrain yourself when I'm already doing what you told me to do. Even though you didn't tell me to do it yet. You guys all think blue? Do you mean blue blue? Or do you mean the other one that's showing is blue? Which is green. Which is blue at certain angles. Right? So of the iridescent ones you guys are seeing right here. It's rose gold green unicorn skin blue. You see the shift? I'm trying not to knock over anything that's still open while still showing you guys the color shift. So like the green blue or the other blue? Honestly, even the unicorn skin, I'm getting some blue at certain angles, which in a way almost like draws me away from it. I'm kind of leaning gold, you guys. I'm sorry. And then doing all iridescent over black. B next to gunmetal. So that is the actual blue. Or, no, I don't like that idea. Hmm. Let's, let me close the rest of these. We're not doing anything for a little bit here. Whoa. So the current idea for over... Also, like, the pattern makes a difference. Unless I just go for scattered snowflakes for both. Hmm. Like if, if I considered the ideas that I had previously considered. They become less appealing when presented with the current color choices that I'm choosing. You know what I mean? Like both these color stories feel like they would feel like scattered snowflakes yeah especially like with the with the also I mean like it would be more silver than gold probably I didn't I didn't think this would be the hard part Wait, is the crater gold more? No, it's just, it's the ink. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. <sighs> this will help inform our decision. Maybe. Are you just invisible now? What is fucking happening? Oh. 
dude. I love these iridescence over the black. It'll probably be white because I don't want to, like, if, if, if I think of other light colors that, like, actually would portray, like, the, the, the day vibe, mainly what else comes to mind is silver, and I obviously don't want to do a silver base with this because it would make the, the stamping really hard to see. Um, the gold that I had discarded actually shows up a little bit brighter over white especially with the top coat like it comes across more metallic I don't know if you guys can see that like a little bit reflectivity because it's kind of a poor stamp I might need to reconsider that if I if I actually go with the gold little bug what are you even doing in here um I really like the iridescence over black all of them I, I think because there are four of those and I don't feel like they would lend themselves to either of my other ideas. I'm going with the scattered design for the black. So that leaves the question of do I want the French tip design over the white or do I want the kind of So our thoughts were, you know, like you have like something like that, or you have something that's like, clustered over the tip type of situation where the black is just going to be, you know, But, but, no, but, wait, okay, wait, 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 um, wait a minute, also, actually, like, I'm, I'm looking at this, uh, hollow with the top coat. And I'm having the same reconsideration because the one that I discarded is actually brighter. But. I need, I need to see these with, with a flashlight. We, we were talking about the sizes of the snowflakes. I don't know if I can fit. Oh, that's. Oh. That's that's the one I wasn't planning on using. That's being more hollow with the flashlight. This one. <sighs> I, I think here, like right as I go back and forth there, you see what I mean between the two golds. How the one is like more metallic looking. Like the other one is gold, but the one is just like more gold. I need a little bit more. Hold on here. Like some of this is just the paper is just like drinking this top coat. Let me top coat both y'all up because this matters. This actually matters a lot. Like, um, do that one too. (sighs) 
well, fuck. Like that, that uh, Sally Hansen hollow is doing like much more hollow things than the elite hollow. I mean, you, it's almost invisible. Why, why aren't you hollow? Also, why is this drinking top coat just like literally drinking it? Okay, so we have some more things to think about. What, wait, how, you mean, but that's not, wait, what would be the night one then? Is that, is rain, day is rainbow snow and the night is what? And then also, how in the world do you expect to be able to see any of this on top of rainbow snow, Dino? <laughs> Let's be realistic. Night is black and day is rainbow snow. For those who don't know what rainbow snow is, and what Dino is suggesting here, No, it will not. No, it will not just be visible over this. <laughs> there, there's kind of a lot going on here already. <laughs> I've got pigment all over my desk. No dino. The thing with both of the hollows is... Is it, is it just the ring light? There's so much nicer under flashlight, but like, I kind of like, they're, they're gross looking here. They're just like dark gray. I, I find myself, Dino, don't be mad. I find myself wanting to cut out the hollow. I'm just keeping it real. I find myself wanting to do gold and silver over white. Part of me kind of likes the idea of using like part of me basically wants to go back on everything that I already put away that I wasn't going to use and change my entire mind. Nat. Die. Why are you not already dead? It's winter. Part of me says that I should stick with actually just silver and gold because I don't have room to stack three snowflakes on my nail and have it still come off as a cuticle accent. Three snowflakes would be like my entire nail and then some. Hmm. I'm also in some cases like wondering, like probably with the pigment, some of the actually cutest ones may not be the best idea to stamp with because they're just like a little like this one is probably just a little bit too detailed and I want I want snowflakes that are complementary to each other I think okay okay We're putting this away. We're putting the not sparkly gold away. <laughs> uh, Doubtful. And Dino. There, there's a you. May may I introduce you to people leave in BTTV emotes. For a moment such as this. Um, like the, the problem is. That. Uh, 
like they just don't look good unless it's a flashlight and I can't just walk around with a flashlight all the time. So, um, wait a minute, where did I literally just put it? Okay, this, 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 this. We're gonna put this back on here. Hey, Wim. I hope my notes are right. I think they are. I, I hope they are. No, they are. The thing that's weird is that this gold actually came with this silver. So I'm surprised that the other gold is... Uh, more of a match finish wise okay gold and silver silver at the cuticle and then gold stacked on top of that cute little cute little elegant look and then on the black I think what I want to do is like assign a shape to each color. Oh goodness. I didn't even see it. <laughs> Good job mods. Thanks mods. Hey tree theory. Hmm. Spam, uh, spam beans and pup times until it gets off screen. Yeah. Flamingo knows. Okay, I think... Do we want to... On the scattered snowflakes, have a variety of sh sizes... Or try to stick around the same size. I actually feel like this one is slightly large to be going on my nails with multiple other snowflakes. Like this one. Oops. It's uh, it's this one. So I think I want to go to like the slightly smaller size. Like this size. Could do like that one. I quite like that one. Although it's kind of detailed. Hmm. I would need four, so I could do one, two, three. That one looks more like a flower than a snowflake. Four? I kind of like that one. I don't know. I, I need to decide, though. I, I can't... You know what? We can decide this later while my polish is drying. That's what we can do. No, we're not doing the French. Half of a large snowflake? Hmm. But I'm not doing a fringe. But I could. I could do like this one. It's pretty graphic. I could overlap the silver and the gold. I could have I could have the silver with this going toward the cuticle and the gold with this going toward the cuticle. Overlapping. That would be no, I don't that wouldn't that wouldn't translate visually. It would look weird. That would look weird. I'd have to stagger them in possibly the same direction and that might still possibly look weird. Or I would need to not do two colors and just do one. Oh. Just the silver. Just white and silver, just clean as fuck. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Yeah, that's what the Oh, you mean for the French tip? Or you mean for just the random one? That's like that's We're going to we're going to use all four of those. 
and do random over the black. This one too would be maybe make a nice, like it's larger. It's like nail width. Hmm. This one too. Although I don't I don't think I like this one as well as this one or this one. This one looks more like a flower. This one I think is too intricate, like it wouldn't show off the pigment as much. Like these both have kind of thick lines. A side French? Is that a thing? Is that and if it is a thing, is that what it's called? So you don't mean like side French, you mean like like that? The the black is so clear in my head. I mean aside from picking which particular snowflakes I want to use. Maybe this one. I kind of like that one. The white. The white I feel very... I don't want to say conflicted. Or, or... Would, would that be too simple? Instead of having like a... Okay, so we're talking about like... Have half a snowflake coming here. So it'd be like... Chloo, and the other half would be, you know, here. Meh, meh, meh. Or... But you could also do the same... Like... Uh, at the cuticle... Without stacking another one on top... Like we were talking about over here so that it would just actually be a half moon design instead of extra shit <laughs> yeah that's I mean you would think it would make it easier for them to have some consistency to it So, or I could even be like this and then I could add another little tiny small one there. Would that look dumb? That would look dumb. Would it look dumb? Or I could have one at the bottom and one at the top. Are my nails long enough to do that? Yes. Or could have them coming off the corners and then they match. Right? Like the, these could be silver and this would be gold. And then this would be gold. I'm possibly overthinking this. They'd be like this. Can't you see my very detailed sketch, Gidge? <laughs> so detailed. Much sketch. Bean is the comfiest little lump right now. I mean, we've got a mostly clear stamper, son. I don't I don't think uh I don't think doing them at the cuticle would be hard to line up. Would I wanna go gold or would I wanna go silver? I mean kinda of part of me wants to say silver just because the silver stamps like hands down the best. Mm. 
Ooh, what flavor? <laughs> My hungry ass. Guess who hasn't had dinner today? All right. We'll let these thoughts marinate. And we shall move forward with Peely's. Another very important portion of the uh, of the evening's events. Oh, there's pigment all over. Can I? Yeah. <clears throat> Convergence insufficiency. What is that? I mean, when you can see where it's going, it's hard to put it in the... Well, actually, that's not true. You you get to see when you stamp into the wrong place, but it does make it a lot easier to put things in the right place. <laughs> Food rebellion. All right, let's find our edges, hopefully. We actually had like full on sun today. So I uh I had restuck those three peelies, but I did a really poor job of it and they did not stay. But they stayed long enough to get pictures. And that's what really matters. Come on here, edges. There we go. Huh. And you can't like correct for it, like just look with one eyeball. So that you don't see things doubled. I, I still have such mixed feelings, but this, this one did grow on me. This one grew on me a little bit too, but I don't know. They won't be on my list of top favorite things ever just because they make me feel a certain kind of way. A certain kind of not good way. I don't know how the rest of these are going to come off. If wall, maybe I just picked the wrong side to be looking for edges on. Jeez. That came off so easy. I do think that if I do something more on the, shall we say, minimal side, that uh, I need to make sure to get like really clean transfers, and I don't know how to ensure that. But like having them look kind of PC. If we're doing a scattered look versus having them be PC when it's just like one that's supposed to be highlighted is kind of a different story. A little bit of residue left here. Mm, just a little bit, not too bad. It's gunky. Mm -hmm. Huh. <laughs> Please don't let her butt the cake. I'm just gonna 
gonna say please don't tell me i cleaned my desk so well i don't have any cotton and then i remembered i have cotton in that little thingy So, let me move this. That'll be our. Keep that not messy. And I like I could do the black first, except I like doing the white first so that you don't get a sneak peek of the. Like I just make up the dumbest rules for myself so you don't get a sneak peek of the night version in the day tutorial. So the day version should be done first. Okay, I... Like, if I were to go the simplistic route, I think I'm feeling it more at the cuticle than I am at the tip partly just aesthetically that may or may not be influenced by the fact that we've already had two French tip designs is that right I'm forgetting a whole day or a whole set of days we did the bling we did the iridescent we did this, the opal. We did three. The garlands also. Okay, no, we're this. If we're doing this, it's at the cuticle. If we're doing this, it's absolutely at the cuticle. Wait, the garlands had at the cuticle. The garlands had at the cuticle and a French. The garlands neutralize. They. <laughs> oh. I love you, pop time. Bringing the cats and dogs that people truly want. I like that one with the sunglasses on. Okay, let's do some cuticles real quick. super quick push and get off any of that last remaining peely residue it's got a cool down on some words gidge but I think we discovered that it does not have a cool down on per time Probably after the series, I will uh, trim them a little bit. Not like a big chop, but like a little bit of a trim. Because my nails actually are getting on the long side. Which I love. But which I know is dangerous. Can't get too comfortable with long nails. Or I'll pay the price. I don't think I have that many cat emotes beyond Beanie. Although, I mean, I have multiple, multiple beans. Yeah, there's a lot in Twitch Global, too. I mean, I'm sure there are probably some in Twitch Global that I don't even realize are there, as far as cats go. So, the other good thing um, that will come out of delaying this 
to today instead of yesterday is that that lands days 11 and 12 which will be a set of water marbles on Saturday I mean it's got cat ears so sure yes so hopefully a lot of people will be able to make make the finale and then whenever I get sick of wearing that I'll probably put on something with a long wearing base coat <laughs> and take a little break from brain creativity stressing <clears throat> oh yeah the couple of special ones like that was that from last Christmas already that little cat I feel like it was I feel like that was a blink of an eye ago yeah somebody pointed out to me that the the little creature in the special 2020 emos that's popping out of a box is probably not a cat because it has round ears and that it's probably a bear and uh blew my mind because i was like no it's a cat and then i looked at it i was like oh my god no it's not <laughs> the uh this one it's not a cat sad face it's still cute it's still very very cute even if it's not a cat wait you think it's a sloth no it's not a sloth sloths don't have ears like that or did I miss, did I just miss something else altogether on the topic of sloths? <laughs> We've, uh, the sloth at our, at Como is named Chloe. And she's awake. So I've, I've caught her awake a couple times when I went there. There is, in fact you go far enough back on my channel a video of chloe the sloth on my youtube moving around god that video is probably 10 years old the polar bears too which i just heard one of them had died i don't remember how long ago it was i don't know if it was recent or if i just heard about it recently oh you sn okay okay I call I call Clark a sloth sometimes. His nose looks like a sloth nose. That sloth has a dark nose, but the sloth at Como has a very pink nose that is like exactly the same as Clark's. So he is a little sloth. Yeah. I I don't remember I don't know which one died. Like, the one was kind of crazy, and it was kind of sad. I mean, zoos are kind of, like, cool and sad at the same time, you know, type of vibe. But, uh, like, one, one of the polar bears, just all he would ever do is just pace back and forth. And I think maybe that's the one that died. Yeah, I went when like a lot of times when we go, it would be like almost close to closing time, and since Chloe is a lot of the time out, like loose. I mean, not like fully, fully loose, but like loose in the tropical exhibit. Like they take her in when it's closing time, so she wakes up and like climbs down, and they just like carry her. Oh, I got a really bad nose itch. Um back to I don't know wherever she hangs out at night 
give her her dinner or her breakfast. I don't know, since she sleep all day. Maybe it's breakfast. Do cloths even... Do, do cloths? Do sloths even have to eat every day? They only poop like every two weeks. <clears throat> Eleven and a half hours away. That has to be like on quite the other side of the state. Like close parts of Wisconsin are close enough like I always have thought it was weird because even though it's like close it's still quite a drive people that like live in Wisconsin and work in Minneapolis like what that's a long ass drive but yeah I love Como Zoo and the conservatory the conservatory even more than the zoo even though it's not it's not really much like it was when I was a kid anymore trying to see what this little I probably shouldn't be picking at this with my nippers I just I feel like okay stop Colette why are you picking at something on your nails it's like a little uh it's not a break but it's like a little peely spot but I probably shouldn't peel it up right right yeah Eau Claire. A lot of Wisconsin towns just sound familiar to me because the company I worked for used to do a lot of installs in Wisconsin. Um, oh, this powder. It's everywhere. Okay. Let's get to the clean side of this mm. probably gonna need a new of this several times yeah it just takes up a lot of a lot of space if you want cheese you should have cheese I'm kind of tired. I don't know why I said that like I'm like I'm shocked. I should probably simplify this. I should probably just do a cute a silver cuticle snowflake. And call it a damn day. And let the black Wait, do I want it? Do I want to go black or do I want to go navy? Uh, where are the swatches of this? No, I don't think it's quite dark enough. Like it's quite dark I don't think it's quite dark enough I think black will be more impactful and we'll get these actual like bright colors popping through relocating a zoo what the fuck I mean, that just sounds expensive, unnecessary, logistical nightmare. Did I mention expensive? Mm. What, are the, what is it like too, too close to like a good spot or like they want to stick a highway through there? What the fuck? I mean, I don't know. That just seems wild to me. Like, hey, let's just move the zoo. Like, hmm. <laughs> Okay, I, I think we're pretty well decided. I, I still have some, you know what, hold on. Let's, let's just resolve this right now. Okay. God, look at these, these fucking things. 
How's this one holding up? Why? I'm storing it face down. I don't know why. Just superstitiously in case that's exposure to light is part of what made it look like shit. Um, okay, so what's our nicest peely here? Probably this one. This one? No, probably that one. That one looks pretty big. That might be the thumb. Maybe I should do that one instead. Of course, which was my no, this is the thumb. No, that one's not as cute. We'll go with we'll go with that one and we'll go with this one this is just one other thought I had of why it might have done this this started out as white for anybody who didn't know is that maybe this is because I did the cellophane right on top of the white instead of doing white and then doing a layer of clear Put them in my bag of feelings. I'm just, I don't know. This is just the, all the whole series. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've had a lot of silver, but it's winter. Silver is winterier than gold, right? Yeah, I don't know. The thing that's weird is that the thumbnail didn't every other every other nail except the thumbnail. I mean the thumbnail also, but not as badly. I don't know. I don't know if it was the top coat. I don't know if it was applying it directly to the white. I don't know why the thumb was somewhat immune. I I don't know. Mm. two minute poll go now if you are on mobile and you cannot see the poll you can vote with slash vote one for silver and slash vote two for gold like we've already used lots of silver but like it's okay like that that alone is not a reason not to use silver and this picture you know the silver is you know it'll be a little bit more subtle I mean the gold would show up a little bit more but it's not that the silver doesn't show up and we're talking over white here we're talking over white as a cuticle accent and we're talking about I, I know it looks shitty on here but we're talking about this gold this brighter more metallic gold which proved to be sparklier under flashlight lighting when we were considering using the silver and gold together and we wanted them to have a sil similar metallic sheen to them hmm. I, I do not guarantee to abide by the results of this by the way I'm just kind of curious what you guys think pretty close no i turned off the voting more because i actually like this isn't a meme like i actually want to see what you guys think i don't want to see who has the most channel points and who's like want, wants their version to win especially because i don't guarantee that i'm gonna go with what you guys say but i'm curious to know what you guys think and i think it like a lot of times i'll be super conflicted and you guys will like landslide one way or the other you know, nine to six is pretty close. Mm. Yeah, if it's in the game and somebody really, really, really wants me to do something, like, I kind of would like to know that. Like, in this case, like, I'm actually, I want to see what the group thinks. I don't, like I said, I want to see just who has most points. Yes, entropy, silver. We talked about what? 
yeah, whimsy too in there, just like so in chaos, just like oh no. <laughs> and then you're like, oh no, I can't do it fast enough. Battery, help me so chaos. <laughs> More memes, not le- no, but twelve days of Christmas is not a meme. Twelve days of Christmas is my chance to make up for sucking at YouTube all year. Okay, it's not a meme. <laughs> Like, I've, I've, I've really enjoyed the responses. Like, more than one person has been like, 12 days of Christmas! You know? You know, and have expressed that they're glad that, that the series is... That the series is there, and, like, I... Like, it... <laughs> we, can, we can meme around all the time, the rest of the time, but, like... I, I wanted, like, I'm, I'm not happy with all these, but I feel like I've done. <sighs> Why is it hard to say you've done your best when you feel after the fact like you've done, you could have done better? But in the moment, you did do your best. The fact that now with hindsight, you could do better doesn't take away from the fact that in the moment, I did as well as I could and I didn't know they were going to turn pink. <clears throat> <laughs> Mm. yeah but do my viewers care about variety you're you're looking at somebody who like only water marbled for a goodly portion of my youtube career doubtful with the thousand bits the thousand unicorn dick bits and sharing 25 big old emotes in chat i hope you guys got some cute ones doubtful thank you so much gotta suck at something to do better you later yeah like you know you can't do better unless you do something for yes exactly like and i feel like like we've done testing we even like stopped the presses when we needed to do additional testing like on the garlands like imagine can you guys imagine if we had pushed through with neon green and silver garlands that wouldn't have been doing my best so yeah I, you know, I did my best that I could do with the time asterisk. Um, <laughs> mm. yeah, the yellow snow. Um, yeah, so yeah, I kind of, like, there's so many thoughts. And the other thing is, I can never guess YouTube and YouTube viewers I think I've told the story that before there was a manicure I hated so much. I only did one hand and I still was like, fuck it. I recorded it. Um, I'll just do this. And it's just one handed. I mean, like we've been doing this year, but not intentionally. And people loved it. It got so many views that people were like, this is my favorite thing ever. And I'm thinking, I I didn't even finish this manicure. I literally hated this. And so it's very hard to put myself in the mindset of, well, let's do this for the views because I don't know what the fuck to do for the views. And so then it just comes back down to do your best. But sometimes you don't know what's best. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. House, ga- house garlic. Oh man, garlic yum. Um, thank you for the follow as I, as I rant. Um, I'm, I'm gonna get up and collect my brain cells and, uh, go to the bathroom before we start on the nails. Oh, the one that I hated. Hold on. Yeah. You guys can watch it while I'm gone. (laughs) Um, fuck. What was it called? And where's my tab that has YouTube? Mm. I think it was this one. I don't even remember why I hated it so much. Isn't this one? Of course, this is back in the day when I didn't have intros and outros, so it wasn't. No, it wasn't this one because that's t- that's both hands. 
Hmm. Hold on. I'll find it for you guys. It just might take me a second because it's actually not the one that always comes to mind when I think I know which one I'm thinking of. Maybe that's why I thought that was... Okay, no, I think I know. Okay, hold on. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. Oh, fuck. I, do, I might not remember anymore, you guys. <laughs> um, it was around that... I want to say it was around that time, though. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Mm. Mm. I want to go... Can I... Mm. I can't see chat right now also, by the way. I wish it was easier to just go to like... A particular time in 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 my in my video manager. Mm. And now it doesn't even want to load. <laughs> mm, I will do that in a moment, the beanie pet. Okay, hold on. Okay, getting closer. Because I'm pretty sure... Like, I think I know the time frame when it happened. I'm just not, like, bringing the right actual... Maybe I've blocked it from my mind because I hated it so much. Hmm. Uh -huh -huh. Okay, closer... Maybe it was that one. Did I like, did I finish it? I'm confused now. I swear I remember only doing one hand. Did I grip my teeth and do a second hand just so I could take hand shots? Or am I thinking of a completely different design? Maybe it is this one. Maybe I'm just remembering it slightly wrong. Because it fits all the other criteria. I, th I guess it must be this one. Even though... Like, why was I unhappy with this? No, it can't be this one. Also, YouTube, why won't you just let me see what I want to see? I'm confused. I'm very confused, you guys. Like, because see, I, or maybe... I remember being out in public with only one hand painted. Wait, maybe this would explain it. This would explain why I went ahead and did the other hand. Maybe, 
No, because that wouldn't make sense. I'm I'm thinking I solved a, a question, and then I'm realizing that I've only raised more questions. <laughs> Thank you, son. Well, okay, you guys want to see the one I think it is, but then I don't think it is. The thing is, the, the thing I remember is that there were two versions of this manicure, basically. And the one that I thought turned out better did not get very many views. And the one that turned out not good got way more views. So, and they were like two weeks apart. This was the one I, if, if these are the two, which like the view count seems to suggest that it is, this was the one that I liked, which got like 20 some thousand views. And this is the one that I did not like, which got like 300,000 views. But there's two hands. Which manicure am I remembering where I only did one hand? This is going to haunt me. I'm gonna be sitting here after stream, scrolling through. You know what we, I should look, one day we really should watch it on stream. I should go look in my 10 year anniversary vid and mute it. <laughs> and check it out and see okay so if you want to go look you could probably watch either one of those in their entirety if you'd like to to while i'm gone on a short bathroom break here because i used to make very short videos um let's give the people who are not watching old videos something to listen to a little unwritten return from a little kevin mcleod and if you need your own break, now's the time. When we get back, we'll put uh, we'll put snowflakes on my nails.
have returned. And I have a really good idea. I think it's a good idea. Do you think it's a good idea? <laughs> oh yeah, and a beanie pet that I said I wouldn't forget. I didn't forget. I just didn't remember right away. Yeah, I'm sure it was water marble. Hi, buddy. It's, it's the simplest idea slash solution in all of nail art. Accent nails, y'all. We'll just alternate the shit. Silver, gold, silver, gold, silver. Want a treat? Yeah. Can't decide? Just do both. Oh, you're so ready for a treat? Very very serious crunch crunch okay there were maybe two whole crunches there eat the treat slowly baby oh good boy no that idea didn't pan out um I think I want to go with this one So, black, white, peely, sash. <clears throat> we got a plan, y'all. <clears throat> I like the plan. I hope it. I hope it turns out cute. Like I hope it's actually a good plan. Like, just visualizing it, I think it should be fine. But, my visualizations are not always as uh, accurate I as I would like them to be. <laughs> like, oh, I thought I, I thought I imagined this, but turns out my imagination came up short. I, I'm still also thinking about if I led you guys to the correct to the correct old design that I was unhappy with or if there's another one out there like I feel like I feel like that was the one but if that's the case it means I'm remembering at least part of it wrong or incompletely Hmm. I mean, I guess I'll never know. Unless I actually... Did anybody watch them? Did I actually say anything like I almost didn't upload this? <laughs> but... Pro I'm gonna say probably not because I try not to say things like that. Don't, don't tell people what not to like, right? I mean, I break that rule here on Twitch consistently but like on YouTube I, I, I try not to ever say I hate a design because somebody else might love the design don't want to predispose them to not liking something that they actually like just because I don't like it it's a little Peely, peely spot. Yeah, I yeah, that's absolutely true. Entropy. I could have been. I could have just. I mean, who knows what part of that I embellished? But you guys can see like how similar those two designs are, and and how uneven the views are, and of course, like it's drastic at this point because it was like five years ago, ten years, not ten years. I was going to say five or six, not five or ten. Why am I like... 
I wish I had office just so I could like have a not carpeted floor. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I'll say whether I liked it or whether I loved it or whether I mix. If I say I have mixed feelings on something in a video, you guys probably already know this. I don't like it. Mixed feelings equals bad. They're all bad mixed feelings. Bad, angry, disappointed, sad, hungry. Wait. <laughs> I am hungry. Um. But yeah. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh, let's do nails so I can have food. <clears throat> Starting off with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Holo Taco Peely Base, and you can use whichever is your personal preference. I'll also, like for the sake of giving some dry time, I won't be completely doing my left hand and then my right hand going to do left hand um, and base color and then right hand and base color. Let them dry for a minute. We're not using vinyl so I don't need a rock hard dried finish. Probably I'll just use sesh rather than super glossy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Again. <clears throat> Starting out with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Holo Taco Peely Base, and you can use whichever is your personal preference. I was a little bit confused when I first edited day two until I remembered that I had not remembered to record the base coat for that one and I had to go steal the base coat application from day four <laughs> alright <clears throat> Yeah, well, and those two, I, I took those as kind of a review. Like, as a kit, those were shit. They really just debated people. It was rude. As a pigment, like, they're actually pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah. Which one is that one? I don't think it was that one. I wonder why that one only has one hand done. Do I say it's only one hand or do I just only show one hand? I remember that one. That was... Uh... I think that year for Water Marble March, I was very focused on doing uh, as many different brands as I could to debunk the myth. What the heck? To debunk the myth that there's, you know, a special brand that you have to Water Marble or anything like that. Like there's, for anybody who hasn't heard me say it 80 million times, there's no particular brand that's best for water marbling. Every brand will have some that works and some that doesn't work. 
The glam bacon, yeah. It wasn't originally called that, but, like, everybody said that. Like, did I really... Like, I'm just trying to, like, analyze this false memory. Because I, like, I specifically remember being at my grandparents' house because I had been trying to record the tutorial before I went there. And, like, giving up and going there with one hand... Maybe maybe they convinced me to, like, finish it. Or maybe I just finished it when I got home and... I, I mean, it was five years ago. It's not like it was last week that I can't remember this from, but still. High quality new polish. Like, dude, no. I mean, I guess depending on what you mean by high quality... But, like, you you can marble with Wet n' Wild. Essence is kind of like a Wet n' Wild-ish sort of a brand. All right, I think we're dry enough here. A couple little beanie hairs and furs. Oh, that's in the base coat. There we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oops, why did I open that? Literally why. <clears throat> For my base color, I'll be using Hollow Taco Not Milky White. Once I have that applied, I'll be using a quick dry top coat to speed things up. Now, part of me is quite tempted to, like, go for one coat coverage. But I'm resisting that part. I'm not going to glom. And because I'm not going to glom, we're going to need a second coat because we're just going to be going the cuticle and like the tip needs to be opaque now if we were doing the french tip like maybe i could get away with a slightly less opaque tip but we're not much as i do love a good french tip A good cuticle accent is almost as good. Oh my goodness, my shoulder blade just abruptly, like, itches so bad. Oh, and I don't know if my nails are wet enough, dry enough to scratch. Mm. Okay, don't use a pencil, Colette. It's right all over the back of my shirt. <laughs> She does sound really chipper when she swears. <laughs> and she, yeah, oh yeah. Uh. Okay. Now, if we were just going to do something like have this as the base of a water marble or something, I mean, it's perfectly fine. But, yeah, you can, that's a good angle. can see the streaks there. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. But, I mean, you don't want to leave that like that. Mm. Mm. Which one was that? Why won't you give me a preview, Twitch? Which one is that? Twitch won't preview me. Or is it because I'm not actually focused on the window that it won't preview me? No, Twitch won't preview me. Why not? It previewed the first one. <sighs> fucking, fucking Twitch. <clears throat> Alright. Now we gotta make sure nice and fully 
smoothly, opaquely. Is that a word? Sure, that's a word. Why wouldn't that be a word? Mm hmm. Okay. <clears throat> And then, so I'm, I'm undecided currently for days 11 and 12. I kind of like the, uh, whoa, not milky white. What is that stringer? I like the idea I had the other day of uh, veil marbled bows. But I don't know how that actually is going to work out. Like, we haven't done any testing on that. But we already know that we need more testing for our water marble because our tests were inconclusive, shall we say. Um, Um, I, I lost water marbles. Our tests were inconclusive, so we already have some more testing to do. I had the consideration that I don't actually need to have white and black in the marbles because just having them switched up as base colors will actually change up the marbles quite a bit. But then I also had the veil marble idea for day one, which would make them very different both in color and in execution. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> yeah, hope hopefully amethyst. Yeah, that's what Beanie was into when he was making noise earlier. He was in the bag that the little tree had been in. Because that was just... I just tossed it on my bed because I literally, like, put the little tree there five minutes before I started stream. And we'll just do, like, the small amount of cleanup. Let this polish set a little bit more before we top coat it. And then the top coat will do the rest for us. I mean, we'll probably have to clean up again, but I don't want to, like I've said before, I don't like locking in messiness when I've got a top coat to add. I also see, can you guys see that little streaky bit on the side of the middle nail? I don't know if I should try to fix that or not. I think I have to. It's going to bug the absolute fuck out of me. I'll do it off camera though. And then the top coat should hopefully... Just smooth it out. Wow, I did a really shit job at being neat on my thumb, didn't I? Very messy. Because very chubby sidewalls. Right there. <laughs> Whimsy. I don't know either. You don't have to, but thank you.
better. It's not the smoothest thing in the world, but like I said, Sesh V will help out with that. Yeah, I just I come I just completely question my memory of it at this point. But it's like my memory is in like part of my memory says, yes, that's absolutely the one. But the other part of the memory says, but you only had one hand done and both are equally certain that they are correct in my head. So it's weird. Like, like two contradictory memories. Like that's when you realize how much your brain fucks with you. Just imagine all the times where you don't have contradictory memories. Oh, I'm going to need to change the battery before I continue. And you don't realize that, uh, you know, you're having a fake memory. Which one was that, Wim? What was the title? I couldn't... Twitch didn't want to give me a preview. Or maybe you already said and I didn't see... Come on, battery. Get out of there. Oh, I wonder why that one only had one hand. Resin gingerbread houses. That sounds like a lot of work, son. top coat on here before I fuck up anything further. <clears throat> Thanksgiving is tough to do nail art for. I've always wanted to attempt like maybe a cornucopia or something, but that feels super intimidating. Like, that's a lot going on. Work your magic sesh. Also, that's right where the snowflake is going to be, so that will also help to cover it up. But you can see, like, on the middle nail where I covered up that patchy area. That's another spot where it's, you know, oh, you guys are very nudged. Sorry, that always happens when I dismount my camera, I guess. Now, this is very not smooth, and Sesh Feet will take care of it and make it smooth. Oh, there's a glitter in my cuticle. Where did that even come from? I don't know if you guys could even see that, but it was driving me batty. Probably came off the cleanup brush. Sash feet makes everything better. Oh. Hello. Hey, 
Hey, Jen. It's Human Raid. Welcome on in, everybody. This is looking like super, super boring right now, but I promise we're going to get to some more interesting stuff soon. Ace Face, Maggie, Jen. Nothing. Eric, welcome on in, everybody. Son, thank you for the uh, the shout out. We're we're in the midst of my 12 days of Christmas nail art. And what we're working on today is like some pigment stamping with snowflakes. And I'm not like super happy with how like the tests came up. But we weren't being very careful. We'll be more careful on the nails. And I'm going to be doing like these uh, like iridescent colors over the black. And I'm going to be doing just like a super simple silver like cuticle accent. I think on my left hand, the theme, the overall theme is like day and night. So we have the day interpretation and then we have the night interpretation. This, I, I hope this is going okay. We, uh, we did quite a bit of testing. I went back and forth. Oh, silver and gold. That's right. We decided we're going to alternate silver, gold, silver, gold, silver. Once this is dry. So we just added some top coat to hopefully help that will not hopefully it will help it speed up it's 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 a known quantity it's not like boy i wonder if that quick dry is going to actually quick dry um and now i need to put some black on my right hand so yeah welcome on in everybody i'm colette i'm uh i'm a nail artist who also likes to play a lot of hollow knight and i don't know other like other stuff from time to time not lately uh, Mickey, thank you for the follow. I'm also like very, very tired right now. So the brain is having a little bit of trouble braining, but it's going to be okay. And we are actually, in addition to doing live in-person nail art, we're, uh, we're recording for my YouTube channel. So every now and then you may hear me go into professional mode, <laughs> but welcome on in. What were you up to? Uh... Oh, Super Mario Galaxy. I I <laughs> I have not like of course I know Mario, but like I have not played very many of the Mario games, but Galaxy looks fun. From Hollow Knight to Hollow Nails. Yeah, Amanda. Yeah, br man, braining is hard. Wait, is my mm. last sip of tea, sad face. <clears throat> All right, let's do let's do this so we can get it started drying. We need it all to be dry because with the pigment stamping, uh, the pig we don't we don't want there to be any tackiness left, or it might be a disaster. <clears throat> For my base color, I'm going to be using Hollow Taco One Coat Black. Once I have that applied, I'll be using a quick dry top coat to speed things up. <laughs> yeah ace face i i actually like i don't know if i'm embarrassed about it or, or what but like somebody actually had to point that out to me like haha nail arts and i'm like wait what they're like you know like nail art and i'm like oh my god i'm not smart oh. i love this every t it's just so satisfying to paint on a black that's so freaking opaque yeah, I only just beat Super Mario 1. When did we do that, you guys? Was it for Stream Aversary mate? No, it was for it was for Nintendo Night. Of course it was. The community goal. The first Nintendo Night. I had never before beaten Super Mario 1 and I finally did it and like the sense of achievement was massive. <laughs> yeah, Ace. This is when Christine called this one coat black, she really wasn't playing around. It's uh, it's also what I'm going to be using to stamp with. So oh, that was very sloppy, chubby sidewalls. Um, like I said, for the white, it's going to be like at the cuticle. And the black, the, the snowflakes are going to be kind of scattered around. And I've got an image plate with a variety of snowflakes 
And while these are drying enough to stamp on, I think I've decided which one I'm going to use on top of the white because there's only a couple of the larger size ones to choose from. Um, oh gosh, do I want to mess around with latex, you guys? I probably should. Mm. The thought was that each of the iridescent colors would be their own shape of snowflake. So we've got all these. Oh, how are we gonna? Camera, you wanna, you wanna focus? Is it too shiny? It's too shiny. Okay, let's turn off the autofocus then. Camera just do like that and then we'll do like this. So I think I think I'm gonna use this one for the cuticle accent. So we'll do we'll cut it like in half. Or do we want to cut it in half that way? No, I want like a point. I don't want like the middle being in the middle. So we'll use that one and then we'll need four like of the medium to small size ones for the iridescent colors. <clears throat> yeah, the white is not my favorite stamping white. Like it'll stamp, but it's not super, super opaque. The black is absolutely my favorite stamping black because it's very opaque and it cleans up very well. The The... I, I wonder how the pigment is going to act though. Like, is the pigment gonna stick on my skin? I probably should. I was gonna say, where's my latex? It's right here. Little slightly separated, but other than that, I think, okay. I think, let me see if I have, if I go back far enough here. Like I have some, te I know I have some testing of the white in here, like, recently yeah this is the white when when uh when i got the white came out with the unicorn skins that was right with indigo away so i did white on top of indigo and the indigo on top of white and i mean it's it's it just looking at it here you wouldn't know that it's not the whitest opaque stamping white but somewhere else i think i did a comparison best stamping white is still probably like conad white I don't even know. Is Conad even still around, y'all? And then the black. That would be like... How far back is the black? Oh, this is like last year's Christmas. Okay, Halloween. Mm. Ooh, this is stuck. Okay, it's not in there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. This is how one coat black stamps and incidentally royalty blue. Royalty blue is not my favorite. There's like some smudging and some weird like opacity issues. But yeah, one coat black stamps like really sharp and really clean. And then we did this. And then like while we were doing this, we realized that in addition to being a flower, that that stamp looked like a turtle. And we said one day we should make a turtle manicure. And we never have, but you know what? maybe one day <laughs> so oh wait I need to I almost said we need to stop and do the and finish that but I need to finish cleanup on the black and do top coat on the black before I get before I get uh, completely distracted so yeah I don't use like indigo away and royalty blue very often but I almost always use one coat black for stamping because the other thing is like well, you can kind of see here as I'm cleaning up a lot of blacks like they'll stain your skin or you touch them with acetone and they just like run dirty black acetone everywhere this actually cleans up really clean and really easy so days when I don't necessarily feel like messing around with latex it's very forgiving when you're stamping. So Amethyst, since you are in the know, does Conad still do round plates or have they gotten on the uh, rectangular plate train? 
I don't even know if Conad actually was the originator of like the whole stamping process, but they were certainly my first experience with stamping. Clean up around the cuticles here. There used to be a booth at the state fair and they sold Conad plates and they'd have like state fair specials. And I'd usually pick up at least like a couple plates from them every year. But then, well, it wasn't this year because we didn't have a fair this year, but it must have been last year. Like they weren't there. Of course, I don't remember if I actually bought any the year before because I really do like Moe London's plates for the variety of design and for the size of their full nail designs. Because like Conan's full nail designs. <laughs> weren't really very large. I would always have to double stamp them. No, we're still, we're still considering, and I still need to top coat the black. I'm gonna do that right now. And what did I do? What did I do? Uh, okay, this, this is fine. I'm going to fix it. It'll be fine. I'm very irritated with myself, though. I, d I don't even know what I did. That's so frustrating. And it's right at the tip where you'll be able to see. Ah, Series 2. Yeah, it's been a really long time since I had any Conan. Their stamping polishes, though, like their black was previously my best black before, uh, before one coat black, because there are a lot of blacks that will stamp, but blacks that actually stamp as black and not as like dark gray are harder to come across. Man, I can't believe I dinged this nail so hard. Yes, I can. That's a lie. I 100% believe it. That's 100% par for my course. But I think it's fixable. They don't have any clear stampers yet? Ugh. Ugh. That's rough. That's a, that's a point against you, Conad. So we're just going to do like that. And give it a section, and then I'm going to top coat over that, and then we're going to call it a day. Still looks a little flat, but it's fine. Oh no! The brush wasn't clean. I couldn't tell that there were streaks of black on the top coat brush. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> okay I think I fixed it the streaks are gone I don't even know if you guys could see the streaks but in person I like absolutely could I wiped off my brush which I apparently should have done in the first place and I think all the obvious black streaks are gone <sighs> Okay, so I need to give that like a little bit of time. So what time is it? 8.11. So like at least five minutes for that to be 
The thing is, with the pigment, the pigment is going to stick where the stamping polish is, and hopefully the base is dry enough that the pigment does not transfer over onto the base color, and it just stays where we're stamping, right? So we'll use this for the cuticle, and then we need four small to medium-sized ones with, like, not too skinny of a design either. Like, this one here is cute but I don't think it would show off the pigments to the best of their ability oh you guys are getting like ceiling light there hi there's my ceiling light let's scoot this over here a little bit I'm sorry um I like this one I kind of like this one although it's also kind of chonky mm, this one that's very traditional I think Mm, that one's kind of sharp looking. That one looks like a like a shrieking or something. Kind of like 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 that South Park episode where they just like where they uh, they're playing with ninja weapons and then they accidentally like get the 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 shrieking in Butter's eye. I like this one also. So this one, this one, this one. This is also kind of a traditional looking one. These two kind of feel similar, although they're obviously not identical. Are they too similar? Mm. I mean, I could also go with one maybe kind of like this one. I kind of like that. I don't want to use any that look too much like a flower, like this one. Or, well, this one's too big anyway. Actually, are these the same? except different sizes they are do all the big ones have a small one that are the same no question mark yes question mark is this and this the same what is the same as this one then this one no that's different close I never looked at this closely enough to notice that before but this one and this one are 100% the same I don't see one like this one though and the one that I see like this one is kind of questionably the same hmm you know the chunky snowflakes Squirrels are uh, resourceful little dudes. You know, looking at these two, I think they are too similar to use both of them. And I think I actually like this one better. What do you guys think? One or two? I like two. Hmm. But where's the fourth one? One, two... I, I really wonder how this one is going to stamp. Because some of the lines are quite close together. Like, I don't want to push my luck since we're not just stamping, we're pigment stamping. Like, like I said, the fine details could very easily be lost. Oh, look, these two are the same, too. Is there an extra large size of this one? Why, why do they make it complicated like that? Why wouldn't they put the ones that are the same as each other next to each other so that you know they're there and you can like make that part of your plan why are you why are you trying to fool me mo you you like one Lorca? i yeah I, I go back and forth between which one i like better hmm definitely this one though it's weird like it looks like little people almost because it's got like a little dot inside of each of those like it looks kind of just like uh almost just like three lines but it's like two lines with a dot in the middle this one's very traditional also kind of on the thin side though like this is already the thinnest one 
either one of these is kind of on the thicker side. Maybe I should use both of those. I mean, I'm not coming up with a fourth one. All the ones that I'm looking at, I'm finding fault with. Either they look too much like a flower or they're too big. Hey, devils. Test it. I don't want to do any more testing. I know that's a horrible take when it comes to nail art, but I just want to finish so I can go downstairs and eat. I also like this one. That's a very traditional looking one. This one here. So we'd have one, two. I, I question this one. Do you guys like this one? We'll call this diamond snowflake. Do you guys like diamond snowflake? I'm, I'm just overthinking this way too hard, aren't I? Three of the ninja star? One, two, three! Wait, these two are damn near the same size! Is this one bigger than this one? I mean, it must be. Otherwise, why is it on there three times? What the hell? You're revealing your secrets unto me, festive collection plate. The diamond one, you mean, Larka? A flower? It, mm, now that you say that. I mean, if if I try hard enough. Oops, oops. If I try hard enough, I could see any of them as a flower, right? <laughs> okay, definitely this one. One, two. I'm, I'm like... I kind of wish it didn't have the flares that are closer to the center. I'm, I'm going to discard that one. Because I want... I, I want the design to still be legible. I want the pigment to be, you know, viewable. I really like this one. That's another pointy one. Also kind of a flowery one. But also it's pointy enough that it doesn't really look like a flower. we could do we could do one two three now i'm questioning this one okay you know what are we dry we are dry enough not to feel sticky mostly i mean it feels it feels not fully cured and I know if you do your nails, you know what I mean by that. But I mean, I can press on it very firmly without leaving any fingerprints or anything. So we should be good for stamping. Now this area, I mean, questionable. But we shouldn't, we shouldn't have to worry about that. Plus, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, latex. So that'll give us another little second of dry time. Well, second equaling minute. Close your eyes and point at one. Oh, you like the diamond one, Flamingo. Oh, you found another one. Which one is this one? Oh, the red and No, I love that one. I know which one that one is, even though it doesn't want to show me a thumbnail. I definitely loved that one. Hi, Mamba. <clears throat> Let the snowflakes decide. Just throw them up in the air and see which one lands in your heart. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, forget it. Forget all that. I'm sorry. I'm. S I told you. I warned you. I warned all of you. Mm. I'm full of shit. Don't listen to me. Ooh, cake. I want cake. I don't have any cake. You know what I do have downstairs? A fucking steak that rhymes with cake. <clears throat> Before I start stamping, I'm going to protect around my cuticles with liquid latex. Yeah, that's right, you guys. Once I finish this, there is steak in my future. Okay, we, we don't have to be that aggressive with this. Like, we're not... You know, we just need to go around here. 
and I'm not, you know, one, one day, I'm always too scared to do it. One day, oh gosh, I did flood the cuticle a little bit. One day I should have fully flood the cuticle and try to do those slick, super slick vi uh, no, latex peels where like you don't even have any cleanup left afterward at all, which I've never in my life successfully done. So I'm applying this kind of thick, aren't I? This is going to take a second to dry. but it should keep the pigment you know it might also if the pigment does decide to stick to the latex it'll make the cleanup easier it'll make me use oh i'm forgetting polo left them it'll make me use less uh less lint roller also i am recalling god whose video was that have i ever done that using latex to clean up pigment from from buffing like when you buff and you ended up getting it around your nails and then like you might need to clean it up a little bit <laughs> is barney judging me mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. all right all right the thing is i bought this plate fucking not going the direction I assume you're gonna go camera um I bought this plate because I like most of the snowflakes like I'm not gonna buy a snowflake plate that's 90% dumb snowflakes I bought a snowflake plate that's 90% kick-ass snowflakes some of them don't look very much like snowflakes but they're still kick-ass like this little design right here it's like a burst like, that's not a snowflake, but it's cute. Um, which direction? Probably go, like, toward this edge, I suppose. Do I want to cut this perfect? Probably, like, close to perfectly in half. I think if we look at it as wanting the point to go toward the cuticle, and then we look at the kind of design in the middle, if I cut it right about here, so if I cut off the bottom two of the middle and the bottom three of the outside so that it cuts right about oh that's not a very good angle um like that so like sl just slightly more than half and that's gonna be like just a little bit tricky like as I'm as I'm stamping <clears throat> what are you are you joining the one-handed search also gidge yeah i mean i i'm not surprised that you like that i don't know why you're always like surprised when i do red nail art it happens maybe maybe but it might not exist we've we've determined that my brain may be lying to us all i should have endeavored to apply that thinner no whimsy again. Oh, <gasps> yes. Yes. Whimsy. Whimsy. That's it. Whimsy. That's it. Wait. No, is it? That only has 7,000 views, though. That's not a lot of views. Hey, Basenji. Thank you for the host. I, I remember only doing one of that, though. Because right after that, there's another one. Except it's white. And it's different base colors. I may be conflating these two events in my mind. That's, that's, that's part of my memory. That's part of the memory. I think that's tied to the other manicure that actually ended up getting a lot of views. Surprised I said it. Wait, why? Cause it's red gidge <laughs> that was a water marble march too wasn't it yeah yeah i think the next manicure in that water marble march would be uh hollow gradient with white chevrons which i was also frustrated with but not as frustrated yes 
I, I think you have solved the mystery, though. I think the other one is what I was thinking of, but that's the one I was thinking of with one hand. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. We're almost dry here. You could tell because we're gone from weird color to shiny, pearlescent. Well, maybe not pearlescent, but pearly, at least. Um, latex. Oh, waiting for latex to dry. Okay. It's, it's, this, this section has taken longer than I've expected for various reasons. And I'm hungrier than I thought. Ha just happened to catch them. Okay, so let's get ready here while the latex is finishing drying. Oh, that's, oh, here it is. I was going to say, where the hell did I put my stamper? So we want to make sure as we get started, there's not residue or anything weird on the stamper. I mean, there's some residue on there. I can tell, and we definitely have a cloudiness issue. But still, like, you can still see what we're doing. You can still see through it. I have to get a new stamper eventually. Um, this fucking thing. Look it, look it. I barely touched it. Oh my god. <sighs> God, it's so full. Mm. All right. So that one's going to live in this lid just to keep things neat, hopefully. Little sponge, can you please get out of the crack and go into the lid? All right. Now, this silver is also not the neatest container. I wonder if I can just put this in here, too. Like, yeah? Okay, that works. The lid doesn't quite want to fit. That's fine. We'll put the lid over there. So much. This, this gold pigment is far and away my largest container of pigment. Not just because it's larger, but because it was filled to nearly overflowing. Like, the amount of pigment in here is absurd. You'll never need that much pigment. Yeah, that's what I think, Wim. I think I conflated. I think I conflated the two memories because they're very similar. There are two manicures that are like the same ish, but like different colors. One which I was happy with and one which I was not happy with. And, and then that. Yeah, I think I conflated them. What year was that? I didn't even. Two thousand seventeen. That's still a while ago. The other one, the other set was in two thousand fifteen. <clears throat> okay, I think we're pretty dry here. Let's let's move on. <sighs> Nerves. <clears throat> <clears throat> hold on ah, here it is I was like where's the white I need the white for stamping and I'm like wait where did it go okay we've got the stamper we've got the scraper which we're going to wipe off because it's got black on it we're going to scooch this over a bit 
Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> For the stamping, I'm going to be using the Moyu Festive Collection number no. two plate, as well as my Moyu Crystal Clear Stamper. And then I have a gold and a silver pigment that I'll be using. The first step is going to be to buff a small amount of pigment onto the stamper. Don't need to cover a large area, just enough of an area for the design that you're going to be stamping. Uh, of course you want to make sure you have enough. And then I'm going to be using one of the larger snowflakes and applying it so that about half of it goes on my cuticle. For my stamping polish, I'm using uh, Not Milky White again. If any extra pigment transfers, you can use a brush to brush it off, question mark? Yes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the latex. Okay, I almost panicked for a minute there, but that was saved. Okay. Also, <laughs> I almost uh, fucked it up because you see these two on the side here. Like those were on there and I pointed them towards my towards my tip for whatever reason. I should have put those like toward the cuticle so that I wasn't in danger of accidentally touching them on my nail or gone in one of the other like side directions. All right, I've also got, Although I guess they didn't have any pigment. They were just white, so they would have been invisible. So maybe that would not have been a problem and I don't need to worry about it, question mark? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. They're just white. They, it won't show. It'll be invisible. This is fine. I thought that they had pigment on them. But they didn't. Also, that little area I made was nearly too small. So we're going to try and not make that mistake again. Okay. You see how like dirty it is? But check it out. Right? Also, I can see the white on white snowflakes but I don't think you guys can <laughs> so I'm I'm really not gonna worry about it I'm not oh my goodness oh my goodness you guys this is like moderately stressful like on that one especially because we had 
we had the extra top coat that I wasn't sure was as dry as the others. I was like, is this gonna just brush off with a fan brush? Also, yes, that will take some creative editing to edit out all those fucks. <laughs> We'll just, we'll just, we'll just edit those out. It'll be fine. Or I'll re-record a voiceover. <laughs> As though that was the plan all along. Spoiler, it wasn't. See, the other option would be to just go like this. Hmm. That's, oh, that's very off. Oh, fuck, that's way too high. And not centered. Uh, I don't like that. I, I don't, like, in theory, I, I could do one of two things. I could wipe it off with uh, like a Q-tip and acetone or a brush and acetone because we have top coat that will protect our base coat. Or I could just add like another coat of white on top. But in reality, y'all, Poe Lil left them is what we're going to call that situation. Po little left thumb. Get to know how your your right your right thumb brethren feels on a regular basis. All right, now we're going to swoop on this gold. Hope that we have done so appropriately. <laughs> And we are moving fast with this one, y'all, because the gold is tricky to stamp with, going by the testing. Of course, also, as somewhat expected, the the on the nail stamping is actually uh, more forgiving than the on paper stamping. Oh, come on here now. Last little bit, get off of there. That might need a little bit of acetone. Wow, look how shiny the the latex is. I don't feel like the silver latex was that shiny. Make sure our stamper gets fully clean or as clean as we can get it. Then we got just one more. This, this thumb aggravates me. It's, I mean, it's 100% my own fault. I just, I didn't, I didn't get the placement down. Whoops. And I paid the price for it. I was in a rush. Because we discovered that timing is everything on these, but the rush didn't pay off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lurka. Cleaning plates is so frustrating sometimes. Like they get a residue and then they just like don't want to be clean ever. Uh -uh -uh. 
don't mess with you guys. I'm talking about you. Yeah, the editing. I will catch up with chat in a minute. I really shouldn't even be trying to read while I'm trying to keep a reasonable pace for recording. See, maybe it's like that when I feel like I just barely touched... And like some of this is uh, due to the cloudiness, but some of this is just due to the fact that like I can't see through the other parts of the pigment. Like, you know, you know, that's not a very good placement either. The deal with a bull though. Deal with a bull. Um. It's kind of like when you're doing reverse stamping and you you've painted in the whole image then well it doesn't matter that you have a clear stamper anymore cuz you still can't see shit cuz it's opaque. All right. Like overall, dude, that's cute. A little bit of a goof there huge goof there but you know what that's cute can you guys see on the tip of the middle finger the white on white snowflake you really can't I know they're there <sighs> duplicate messages in chat that sounds weird amethyst welcome to the chat room Yeah, so I think Yeah, getting quite aggressive with the fan brush in most cases. It's taking care of that. Couple spots where it's not. I really I I had a moment of panic there, y'all. We'll, you know what too we can just edit around the thumb we can just focus on these they youtube won't even know of the near disaster or the actual disaster i guess okay so i wonder what a q probably a q-tip would be better because i need to actually pick up the uh I need to actually pick up the pigment off of the nail when considering to do cleanup with a brush or with uh, a Q-tip. Also, I'm running low on Q-tips, but I have some more over there. So, what we need to do is clean up around the edges and clean up any that did not brush away. I might not even keep the fan brush in there. We'll just, you know. <clears throat> Once you're done stamping, you can do any cleanup. If there are any spots on the nail that the fan brush didn't take care of, you can go in with a Q-tip with acetone. And then I'll be going in around the edges with my usual small brush. So just, just little touches. And that's enough to like, you can still definitely go through the top coat and, and get, you know, to where you're uh, impacting your base color. But you just got to really keep it to a light touch. The pink, the pinky is almost perfect. Although even the pinky, God, I said it was perfect. And then I noticed like, can you see it's got the whole center part? Actually, a lot of the nails have the whole center part instead of 
just the top two thirds. This, this nail is the closest to perfect. The ring finger is the closest, or maybe I should say the ring finger is closest to intended placement. I don't know if that's perfect or not, but the ring finger is what was intended. And part of me, like that, that perfectionist part that's like extremely detail oriented is mad as fuck that these aren't identical. Like, don't let the cavalier attitude fool you. I see it and it makes me angry, but I also don't want to start over. So, like this little blank spot there where we didn't quite get a full transfer, that bugs me. The thumb! <laughs> Man. I mean, it's not even centered! It's okay. It's not your fault, thumb. It's my fault. You know, the... It's kind of wonky, too. Just a little bit. It's fine. Okay. Some of this is not particularly showing on camera, but oh, come on, there we go. It's like a little, a little hair. And of course the usual tricks all apply. If you have a neat cuticle, it makes everything else look neat, even if it's not. Yeah, I'm glad we went with both. <clears throat> that one makes me so mad. I'm I'm tempted to try and redo that one, but I'm not going to. Oh my goodness. <sighs> the rhinestones, no. <laughs> Wait, what are you clipping battery? Oh my goodness. Oh, I hope you I hope you recover well, battery. Giving your body rest when it needs rest is a good plan. Mm. I mean, it's a good question, Amethyst. I mean, if you look just like like that, I think the, the fact that the golds are imbalanced becomes more obvious. When you look at it like this, it all kind of just goes together, right? These two are actually kind of similar placement, and then these two are actually similar placement, and we don't have to talk about that one. <laughs> I mean... No, cause see, okay, look, like when I when I take like the the claw pictures, like check it out, like the part where it really shows that it's uneven. This part will be on like the downer side. Like, look, you can't even tell. Optical illusions. I know, but I also know that not everybody knows, and not everybody needs to know. And my life will be easier if I forget that I know. <laughs> Because I've still got nine days of tutorials to edit. <sighs> yeah, it'll it'll look right, but it won't be right. Like, just don't go like that. Go like that. Yeah. All kinds of little flaky bits here. All right, top coat. Top coat. I need to refill my sesh feet again soon, too. <clears throat> Once you're done with cleanup, you can finish with a top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. And I'm hoping that Sesh uh, plays nicely with the pigments. Doesn't try to like pick them up or anything. 
Yeah, brush seems clean. Using normal stamping technique, which is really floating the polish, I'm sure is helping. And when I say that, I mean, you're not, you're not touching the brush to your nail. You're just using the brush to guide the polish over top. Hello, everyone. And then you have, like, even with regular stamping, you can have some streaking. Luke! Luke! No fair! No fair! No fair! I call no fair. I, I feel like Luke is just conspiring so that I see as few of his fucking Celeste streams as possible. Hi, Nate. Hi again, Luke. Your first one was at 10.30 a.m. And this one is while I'm streaming. Fucking brawl. I'd ask if you had fun, but I mean, you were playing Celeste. Hmm. I mean, if you want the mirror finish, honestly, even a water-based top coat is not going to do you as well as a gel top coat, but I'm not too worried. I mean, we're getting a little bit of a, like a textured metallic more than a mirror finish. I don't know if you could actually get a mirror finish with this technique either. Although on the, uh, on the latex, it was looking very shiny at least two more sure sure watch me wake up to luke having streamed at 7 a.m or some shit <laughs> mm. yeah they do kind of the same thing to pigments as they do to foil which is like a crinkle man i actually can i turned off the autofocus let me turn this back on real quick You see those white on white? That's amazing. Nobody else will notice that. If it shows up in pictures, I'll magic eraser it out. But I'm kind of surprised that you can actually see it. So yeah, like you can kind of see what I was saying about it being like more of a textured metallic than like a true mirror finish. And it changed. Well, I don't have any that are unstamped or untop coated now. I was going to out the notebook but even the notebook has been top coated but it, it does change the finish a little bit but not uh not negatively imo in this instance wait you already got to the summit what the hell wait you that you you got there at the end of last stream didn't you which i also only got to see like five minutes of fucking a oh i'm gonna be relegated to vods as if anybody ever has time to watch VODs. I'm glad VODs exist, but VODs also suck. Let's see if we can close this with the least amount of spillage possible. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Can't confirm no fun was had. Well, hopefully at least Chad had fun watching Luke not have fun. Otherwise, if nobody's having fun, I don't know if there need to be two more streams. I mean, I at least am not in this to torture Luke. So, well, let's latex. Let's latex and then let's reconsider which four snowflakes we're using. <clears throat> Before I start stamping, I'm going to protect around my cuticles with liquid latex. 
gonna go a bit more on the sides this time also because this is gonna be the scattered design ah I touched my nail that's bad I can fix it but it's kind of still bad <clears throat> sped up oh god no you gross I can't like anything I'm actually interested in watching I'm not interested in watching sped up it's gross it's weird for me I mean if you if that's how you roll Luke then you just can do that but not not for me I don't think and also like I know for a fact that's like not a lot of deaths I had far I probably had more deaths than that just in the summit I uh dang it I did it again I remember getting stuck on that one berry in particular for hours like actual hours I don't think it just felt like hours I think it was actually hours I, w I wish I remembered how many deaths I actually had but I know it's like probably three times that many easily just going by how by like how quickly you went I mean I think it took me at least three streams to get to the summit too but they were like eight hour streams not like uh two hour streams Hey, Jaded. <laughs> they just want you to be safe, Angel. That's not dry enough yet. So if you get latex like where you don't want it, you just need to wait until it's a little bit dry and then peel it away from where you don't want it. So that needs to dry just a little bit more. Oh. To remind you that you can't post your pin. Yeah, I've had that happen. I don't watch VODs very often. I've watched a couple of the tourney races on VODs. I've been trying to get through. It's like a long one. I've been trying to get through me and Luke's Halloween uh, shenanigans from his point of view. But also, like, there's almost always... Like, I, I will watch two live streams at once, but I don't think I would watch a VOD and a live stream at the same time or two VODs at the same time. All right, so this one also, oh, now I changed my mind almost. This, this, this one I was thinking about using, oh, camera again, focus again, I should say. Um, It's the same as the one I just used. This little one is this big one. Well, of course, I liked it enough to use it big. Why wouldn't I like it enough to use a little? Okay, we can still use that one, I guess. So we're using that one. And we're using... Fuck, I don't remember. We talked about using this pointy one. right was I looking at it this way before I was okay so we were talking about this one this one one of these two and maybe this one of course I vetoed that one and then I said maybe I could do both of those but then I said that those were too similar to each other so I said maybe I would sub in this one we're using the four iridescent colors so well they're they're multi-chrome also I suppose I could say like they go from see the blue gets a little pinker the unicorn skin goes like green and gold the the mermaid goes green to blue 
and the rose gold kind of goes rose gold to like a stronger fuchsia <sighs> this part like shouldn't even matter that much but it's so hard to decide two rods one stream no just like I'm oh, I'm not watching my VOD and your VOD at the same time. I'm just watching your VOD. What about what other one, Dino? Are you mean of the snowflakes? Fuck, man, I don't know. Let's do this one for blue. Let's do this one for green. Let's do this one. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I just need to pick four. Why is it so hard? This one and this one for sure, right? And I like this one for blue. And I, I think I like this one for the green. And then... We had a couple people that liked the diamondy one and a couple people that didn't, and I'm kind of wondering how it'll stamp. These two are very similar. This one is kind of busier. This one is kind of more open. We already have this one as a busy one, so let's pick this one as the more open ones. We have one, two, three, four, or four or mm, four that one's pretty similar to that one not that one one two three i mean we could use the shrieking one as our fourth which is our fourth one you guys what do you what do you guys like do you guys like the diamondy one do you like the one that's similar do you like the one that's over here that's like a little bit skinnier or some other one that i haven't even looked at yet the one by the O2. This one or this one? I don't like this one. This one just looks kind of too crowded. I feel like there there needs to be some space between the design for it to remain legible with the foil by the white edge. Oh, over here. This one? Same thing, kind of. Like, I think that's too thin. It's it's almost the same as this one, but like I think it's too thin and too detailed for the for the pigment. This one I'm even questioning if it'll if it'll read properly. Mm. Thanks for your contribution, Bainey. Hmm. I also kind of like this one because then we'd have like two that are kind of sharp and two that are kind of not sharp. Maybe I should just go with that one. That was my initial. So it would be one, two, three, four. And then I said this one would be the green. So that would be one. The other one would be the blue. That would be two this one and this one I think that one would be which one was I testing with this one do I want to include that that's like kind of slightly too chonky one two like is this pink and then this is unicorn or this is pink and this is unicorn I think this is unicorn and this is pink Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Mm. I feel unsatisfied with my choices. TBH. But I'm going to continue because I'm hungry. So this is where we blurbed a little bit. 
So we're just going to carefully pull that back a little bit so that it's not overlapping the polish. It's just kind of tucked in there. Didn't I touch it somewhere else? Hmm. Okay. One, two, three, four. So this one is actually nicely placed and so is this one. This one and this one are both in awkward locations. Also, do we want every snowflake on every nail? Or do we want to... Uh, Do we want to limit the number? Like, do we want just like three snowflakes per nail? Hmm. I think we might only want like three per nail. All right, I'm going to open these. All right, green. Blue. Uh, rose gold. I think I can do three on the pinky if they're if they're hanging off the edge. Have them all hanging off the edge on the pinky and then have at least one on the other nails that's like fully on the nail or mostly on the nail. You know what? I'm just gonna... Fuck. I was gonna say I'm just gonna do each nail at a time and then I thought maybe I should just do each color at a time. Then I wouldn't have to keep switching back and forth in between snowflakes. This is also going to be kind of tricky to record because, I mean, I'm working on my right hand, but I can't, I can't like scrape left-handed. Oh, fuck. My latex got stuck, so I lost a piece of it. All right, we're just we're just gonna dive in. We're gonna we're gonna get some more Q-tips out. So we don't get halfway through this and go, God damn it. I mean, we still probably will for other reasons, but. Whoop. Okay, we have we have Q-tips. Let's get out some acetone. See if I can get this a little bit cleaner. It just gets smeary after a while. That's fine. Good enough. It's probably easier on the camera when it's not this fucking shiny anyway. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Clean off the scraper. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> if 
For my stamping, I'm going to be using the MoU London Festive Collection 02 plate, which is full of snowflakes, as well as my Crystal Clear Stamper. And then I have four different iridescent pigments that I'll be buffing onto the stamper. And each color is going to be a different shaped snowflake on the nail. For my stamping, I'm going to be using a one coat black. And after the stamping, I'll be using a fan brush to brush away any excess pigment. Okay, there's one. Maybe I should only do two on the pinky. That one didn't end up very off the nail. I also missed part of it, or is that the part that would have gone on the pinky? Whoa. Okay. Blue. And the blue is going to be this one. And we're going to put that one down here. Now, I hadn't really considered how the overlapping would work, but I think I should still be able to brush away the excess oh man that blue one is sharp oh you guys are getting a lot of reflection I will have to give you a better look in a minute so yeah let's stick with two on the pinky come here latex come on Cleaning off the stamper. Okay, next, pink, aka rose gold. Um, Fuck, which one? That one. Okay. Mm. That was kind of a large hesitation. Ah, oh, got a decent pickup. We'll just put the part that's weird off the nail. Come on, pink. Don't be stubborn like that. The fuck off my nail. The pink is kind of stubborn. I mean, it, it'll work out, but like that pink is really stuck on there. Alright, and then... Whoa. Sorry. Unicorn. Whew. So pretty. I feel like I'm going to have regrets with this that I didn't like pick like 
different col different combinations or different snowflakes or different pigments. Okay. Mm. There we go. Yeah, I think three per nail will be a good, like, magic number. Okay, so. Clean these all up. I definitely, you know what, it's fine. It's actually, it's actually fine. Is it perfect? Of course not. In life, few things are. I'm sorry. And this will go here. That's pretty good. I might have a little couple spots that I want to touch up with acetone. But I think that's pretty good. And of course, the usual disclaimer. Chat, I apologize that I cannot read your lovely words at this moment while I am concentrating. I will return to you soon. Okay, so that was green, so now we're blue. The blue, for some reason, at my angle, is one of the hardest ones to see as I buff onto the stamper. Even though it's one of the most impressive ones once it is stamped. I think the blue is my favorite. If I just had to pick like one color. To, to do everything with. I think it would be the blue. Beanie. What are you doing? Beanie. Stop all that. What do you. What do you. I, Beanie. Get, get from there. Get in your, just get in your chair, buddy. Where the people can see you. Benny. Benny, don't you go fuck with that shit. I swear to God. Swear to God. Oh. Mm. Mm, that latex is peeling a little bit. I feel like the green and the blue, 
I don't know. It depends on the angle. I feel like I probably should have picked either green or blue, not green and blue. Because they're kind of similar. The blue and the unicorn skin. Or a unicorn. Is that what it's called? Unicorn skin? Unicorn something. Are my favorites on the nail. Man, that one I feel like has a lot of residue. Also, like my angle with the fan brush left-handed is super weird. Feels very unnatural. Might need a new, new lint roller here too. Did you like that sound, Benny? What are you doing? Benny, get in your chair. Can can you can you do that for me, buddy? Hmm. Okay, so I don't what was that two rounds? So we're like halfway done. Cleaning round. Oh. You like it dangerous? I, I like it too. I have things I would change about it. And I don't think it's my favorite strictly because I loved the Northern Lights so much. This is already... You see I've already got... It's hard to see on camera. See things easily wipe away there. It's almost like... I think almost sometimes... So that was what? Unicorn skin? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we're back to green. Um, like, I almost feel like maybe the lint roller is leaving a slight amount of, like, stickiness or tackiness. I don't know. This actually has very similar vibes, color-wise, to the Northern Lights. Um, yeah, I feel like, I mean, I'm not going to change it midway through and I'm going to deal with it and I accept it. I feel like this was a poor choice. I feel like on the nail... I'm not getting all that detail. I feel like the sharp ones are surprisingly turning out my favorite on the nail. Uh, the one that I chose for the blue and the one that I chose for the unicorn skin. And yeah, I mean, nothing's stopping me from switching it up halfway through the manicure other than my own mental, but I mean, I'm not switching it up halfway through. That's just not happening. Oops. Yeah, this one. It's just, it's transferring really well and it's reading very clean. All right, and we'll do a pink. We're like almost done. I felt like I thought this part would take longer because it's three stamps per nail instead of two. And I mean, obviously it's taking longer than the other hand, but I think too that this was the right call 
to do the colors one two three four one two three four one two three four instead of like one color and try to determine where it should go to keep things even which shouldn't be hard but y'all know i've been having trouble braining That one's off the latex, too. I'm tempted. I don't actually think it's a good idea, and I don't think I'm actually going to do it, but I'm tempted to get out my toothbrush. Um, But I don't, I don't think this is sturdy enough to actually stand up to it. The toothbrush is something that I used last year when I did the Sugar Plum Dot Cure with the loose glitter set and gel polish um and it worked really well for getting little extra bits off of the nail now on the thumb i'm wondering if the thumb will want four but we'll see it's polo right thumb so there's not actually like that much room Oh, you cut off right on Poe Little Right Thumb camera. Even though I would have probably cut that out of the tutorial. No, I think we'll just do three. They'll just be, they'll sit well into the nail, not as many off the edge of the nail. Because I don't think I want any pink on the thumb. The thumb will just be like a three-tone thing. So I only have to clean off this and this. And then we'll do a little bit more cleanup. And then we'll top coat. And then I'm going to go eat a steak. That's the plan. That's it. That's the plan. For the rest of this week, now we talked a little earlier about, uh, I actually think I'm going to put this like here. Well, you guys can't see it like there. The rest of this week, I might be able to sneak some game streams in. I've been really prioritizing editing because it's going to bite me absolutely in the ass if I don't. But I'm almost ahead of the game. I think I said this before. I'm almost ahead of the game. If I can be on task after stream tonight, after dinner... I should be able to finish tomorrow's video and possibly finish, what day is today? Is today Wednesday? Yeah, finish Thursday's video and possibly finish Friday's video. Plus Thursday's video is more than half edited. And if I can get ahead like that, I wouldn't feel bad streaming. All right, let's go right there. I'm not sure if that actually... See, that didn't go quite where I wanted it. I think I'm still okay with that, though. I wish... I wish this one was slightly down, and then I wish this one was slightly in. But we can work with it. Also, you guys can see the see the color shift. Like we go from blue to like a pinky purple, and from green like to a blue, and from unicorn skin to other unicorn, like green and gold. So like there's all that going on, on all these as well. Oh, I stopped peeling. Merp. Suppose I could record that. I don't know if I'll use it. 
I, I just, I don't know. I got distracted, I guess. Grab it. There we go. I do think the latex was probably worth it, even though a couple of the places I went beyond the latex. But any amount less cleanup is still less cleanup. Woo! Y'all, that's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. Thank you, Jen. And thank you again for the raid, too. I appreciate that. I always appreciate when somebody trusts me with their people. Yeah, so... We, we definitely did some damage to our stamper, and we did it knowingly. I'm pretty confident in saying that's worse than when we started. Now, can I still see through it? I mean, yeah, you can still position things, but, like, that's starting to be some pretty opaque clouding. So, I guess I'll have to play some Mo U order soon. No, I won't. They sell this shit on Amazon. Not all their plates and not always in stock, but it's pretty easy to find the uh, the stamper and the scraper. You see, see how some of that sparkle there, like that's like in the middle of that nail, that's like a leftover residue. Can I like can I just get that with the with the brush if I just keep at it enough? Or do I actually need to go in with, like, acetone? Don't know if I might have something, like, better suited to this also than the fan brush. Like, the fan brush seemed stiff, but also delicate. You know? I also wonder, like, these little spots, how, like, how obvious is that going to be once I top coat? Like, right now, it's very subtle. But is that all just going to be, like, glaringly obvious once I top coat? Just trying this other little brush to see if it gets in there a little more. Oh, it does. I, I don't know if you guys can t tell, like, how the middle of that is, like, less, less shiny than it was. That actually worked really good. Like, see, see right there, like, between the pink and the blue when I get that angle right there, you can see there. Can I clean that up with this? I just press a little harder. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cleaner. So a little bit more over here. And then I want to get rid of this one pink spot. And then we'll top coat. We'll we'll clean up and top coat. Yeah, that little pink spot right there next to the green. I can't, can't even. And I don't want to do it on camera because I'm afraid to mess it up. So I'm gonna just do it right. I should be using a Q-tip, but it's so close to the other one. I'm afraid I would touch it. Man, I don't know if I can get that. It doesn't want to. All right, we're going in with a Q-tip so carefully. I got some of it. I don't, oh, see, and I did get through to the black. I'm not fucking with it anymore. Could be disastrous. Okay, let's close all the pigments. 
so we don't spill them all over my desk. Thank you, Wim. Glam winter, yeah. Oh, I turned the... Mm. Honestly, out of all the shit that's bothering me, the the white on white on the tip of hey look how dirty I am polish everywhere on the tip of this middle finger see it right there that's bugging me possibly more than anything else and that's silly and I know it's silly but that doesn't mean it doesn't bug me Let's, uh... I mean, look at that. One coat black. What other black could you do that and your finger isn't still black? The, cl the cleanup, y'all. The cleanup. <clears throat> That's wrong. Once I'm done stamping, I'm going to do any cleanup around the edges that the latex did not care for. Pretty clean at the edges too, or like at the cuticle, like the other one. Well, of course, the other one was focused more toward the cuticle. I always find it tough to get as close as I want to the cuticle with uh, with latex. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is the messiest spot right here. And right here. Yeah, I almost feel like poor little right thumb needs one more thing, but I think I would be equally, like equally frustrated with it if I added one more as I am right now. Because really I'm frustrated that this one is not slightly lower. It doesn't need one more. It needs one of the existing ones somewhere else. All right, top coat. This took so much longer than I thought. Who's surprised? Nobody's surprised, that's the answer. <clears throat> Once you're done with cleanup, you can finish with the top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. It was the testing that was the biggest setback, I think. But I really, I needed to know, like, how they were going to look, you know? I don't know if I'd have made either of the decisions I made if I had just gone straight into this with no testing. And then I probably would have regretted it. So, better to test and have a Manny with very few regrets. Wow, 
the top coat really subtlified that pink. It's almost disappearing on camera. Interesting. Not necessarily pleasing, but it's okay though. Because it, like, it's still mysterious and cute and snowy and all these things, right? But I do feel, I do feel like I could have left out the pink and just done, like, it would have been a very cool toned vibe if I'd just done the unicorn skin, the green and the blue. Like the green and the blue are very close to each other. And then the unicorn skin, like a lot of the times, is busting out this gold. But then it also goes back to a green. Thank you, Sparkle. Slightly frustrated on a couple things, but overall well. Overall well. Yes, it is sesh feet. I, I buy it by not quite the gallon, but whatever that re refill is. Four ounce... Four ounce large refill, and I probably should fill it now because it's like you guys can see, it's like half full. This is usually where I like to refill my my sesh feet. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I think you can kind of see what I mean there, though, about not making the best choice in that snowflake. It's like a snowflake shaped blob, whereas like the blue one, like. Look how much detail you can see in that. The one I used the unicorn skin on actually also is kind of like a snowflake shaped blob, but because it's like a wider blob, it doesn't look like as much of a blob. Yeah, I think the blue one was actually the best choice snowflake wise, even though I hesitated the most over that one. Thanks, battery. Yeah, I'm I'm very pleased with both of these. They they've got issues, you know what? It's it is what it is. Um not like, oh, as long as it's not a disaster, it's fine cuz you know, we got to get the series finished or whatever. What did I get on here? But just as in like I mean a little bit of that. Okay, there's not I, I need to fix this little tiny black spot on this corner here. There. The, the real hazards of working on two manicures at once. Yeah. That's, that's nice. Yeah, and they do come across very neon, which like, I I feel like that like something could be done with that too. I I would definitely pigment stamp again, especially now that we've like broken in the stamper for pigments. There's still some like on there. Like there were a couple weird things. But I, uh, for the most part, like, I, I think this, this went really well. Aunt Brenda with the strong nail game. I'm sure I would like Aunt Brenda. Um, so yeah, we talked about maybe some games tomorrow and Friday. And we talked about some water marbles on Saturday. Um, the testing for the water marbles was educational but inconclusive. I either need to switch out to a different white or I need to not use the white. Um, the black actually worked, but it worked much better this way than the other way. And I'm still not sure. It still could be like left out and you just have this like dark green and red vibe. And like I'm... <clears throat> Like I mentioned, maybe looking into the uh, veil technique bows. Um, let's see where I can send you guys. Auth is still playing Hollow Knight. He's been having. A, I've been. I've been having that on in the background while I'm editing 
and waiting on editing things. And I've really been enjoying it. Oh. That might be... Do we not have any nails? Hmm. So, I have a couple people doing arty things, but I don't <clears throat> see any of the people I follow doing nail art right now. And I don't see... Oh, that's an unflattering thumbnail. Thanks, Twitch. Hmm. There are a couple other nail artists going now, but I don't know them. I get very anxious about... Yeah, no, we don't need any anxiety today. Do you guys want some painting or do you guys want some Hollow Knight? I'm too, I'm too anxious to send you on a blind raid. That's why I try to find nail artists, like, when I'm not streaming so that I have nail artists raid that are not blind raids. These are your faves so far? I like them. I, I feel like something about the color story with this I wish I would change. I, I like it, but I feel like they could be better. Like I said, I'm kind of disappointed with how the, the top coat did the pink. Like, it, it really kind of disappeared. It The blue stands out the most. Honestly, I could have done this in just blue, and it would have been kind of sick. Thank you. Thank you, devils. Do you prefer poisoned or devils? I think I've referred to you by both. Um. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm 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 <laughs> yeah oh man that moment it's easy I feel like it's easier to raid people not out of nail streams um But I do like to raid creative when I'm creative. Unless there's somebody I just like honestly can't resist raiding, which would be like Luke or Doc. Um, so I think I'm gonna send you guys over to Sparkles. <clears throat> um, if you guys do want some Hollow Knight, Math is going and Spooky's going and they're doing a community goal area rando, which is uh, content. Sparkles is doing a, a diamond painting. Um, thank you, everybody. Th this was a good stream. I underestimated as usual, mainly because of the testing, but I'm I'm really happy with how these turned out both hands even the thumbs even though polo right thumb and polo left thumb both have their little issues but everything will be fine um if you would like to simple little raid you can go ahead and drop the beanies or you can drop whatever emote you prefer uh or you could buy a beanie with channel points um blah, blah, blah. I'm a I'm a clean up. I've I've got some cleaning up to do, and I'm gonna go eat that steak, and then I'm gonna edit, and I'm gonna hope that I get to bed slightly earlier than yesterday. Like that's been the trend. The the the, the compilation took until almost 10 a.m. The next day it was like 9 a.m. and then like 8 a.m. and then like 6 a.m. So maybe tonight, like 4 a.m. bedtime. Better not get too excited. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, whatever time of day it is. And I hope I'll see you all next time, which may be tomorrow or Friday or Saturday. It all, it honestly all depends on the editing and the editing all depends on me. So we'll see. And of course, if you're in the future, 
watching on YouTube. I hope you enjoy it as well. Please feel free to subscribe. And if you'd like to join me live for nail art shenanigans, twitch.tv slash MSLP is where this goes down. I hope you all enjoyed and thanks for watching.